Apparently, there's recording in progress. What are you doing? I was going to text you. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. So good to see you all. So we are ready to rumble, I guess. Ready? Go. <laughs> so sure. I, we look a little shorthanded right at the moment, but that's okay. I know room one's going to need some help because they're going to have a couple of people leaving it early, but we'll we'll take care of it. I'm not too worried about it. It'll be fine. Room we are it's we are in game 215, season four, May 16th, 2024, next week. And the week after that, I probably will not be here. But I do expect you guys to show up, and I will be checking. <laughs> Get in trouble <laughs> if you're not you at Skeptic that? Camp. You're either at Skeptic Camp with me or 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 whatever or else because traveling to skeptic camp or whatever like adrian will be and so is um rob and jane um uh adrian won't be here what what i what i am who said that what yeah. uh adrian's not feeling well tonight so i know she won't be here but we'll we'll probably have a few other people show up here pretty soon and wendy's on her way home she was up here last uh, mother's day weekend so she's going home and driving right now. So we probably won't see her. All right. We ready to go? We have Faith and Romero and Carolyn at the moment in room one. What do you guys got for your team name tonight? Let's see, We have, uh-oh, where'd my chat go? It disappears whenever you click on something sometimes. Yeah, uh, that's what happened. Okay. We are, according to the Dow, yes, we are better off than we were four years ago. That's a nice, nice message we should be getting out there, isn't it? <laughs> okay. Jim, Janine, Ron, and Alan. I'm on silent. A team two, Biden Trump debate venue, Riker Sing Sing Eleven. <laughs> Oops, sorry about that. Yeah, I was on. <laughs> Biden Trump debate venue. Rikers, Sing Sing, or Levin Leavenworth. <laughs> I heard so they were talking in the media today. They were saying a lot of people really aren't paying attention, or they're getting contacted by their friends saying, So seriously, who's going to be the Republican nominee this year? <laughs> and they're like, wait, what? <laughs> It's Biden and Trump again? How did, how did that happen? There are people who are not paying attention at all. Not in this room, not in this thing, but yeah. Karen, Jane, and Vincent. Changes in latitude, changes in attitude. Aurora Borealis top the charts. Oh, that's cute. That's sweet. Rob, Leonard, and Jamie. Both the sun and Trump's surrogates won't stop spewing. <laughs> Did you see they're wearing matching outfits now? It's so uh, cute. Disgusting. Do they text each other and say, wear your red tie mm -hmm. and your white uh, shirt? Of course, they're what not about, in Washington. What about the guy who's wearing a green tie? Nauseating. He he did. He's colorblind. That's a yeah, I, 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 I could not tell the difference. So the, the, uh, the, the former president might get in trouble again because... He was seen, this is not a joke, he was seen, uh, you know, they're giving him pieces of paper to read with compliments on it. So he'll quit falling asleep and cussing <laughs> at the witnesses. Uh, and uh, that day they were there, he had a piece of paper with the comments those guys were going to make, and he was marking it up and editing what they were going to say, yeah. which is yeah. a violation of the gag yeah. order. So, oh well, yeah. we're almost done. Hopefully it'll be done this week. Maybe, maybe. Disgusting. I just want I have to, to um, the thank and team, team, team three for providing a non-Trump title. Yeah. <laughs> I, title. Cassidy, it's Cassidy good Cassidy to have at least one. Like that too. You okay. Can, and Carl, and for that. Bill, and Celia. Team. Okay. Bring on the rumble rambling, the rambling redheaded orange face response to Biden's challenge. Ooh. I put the D in the wrong place. But no. Oh, can we have Ben? Ben is going to go into room one because we are going to be short people in in that room. Oh, you guys, okay. Vincent, every time 
you get you always ask you want the person who's gonna be somebody comes in you're like we we want them <laughs> i'm well, probably not know. staying i'm probably not staying the whole night yeah. just so, so it's just gonna be yeah. just karen and i great that'll be wonderful vincent sure <laughs> i think it'll be wonderful too you guys will you'll rock and and there's other okay. people joining us don't worry jane are you in california still yeah i mean in oregon <laughs> Tennessee. I've been You're in Tennessee. Tennessee. Wow. Yeah. You, you brought your view, your view with you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love that she brought her house with her. That's wonderful. And and Faith's got her kitty, one of the kitties. Hello, kitty. I have both of them. Oh, well, we just see the one. Resting bitch face is behind us. <laughs> <laughs> so so does somebody want to correct the typo in Team Five's name? Because that makes no sense. Yeah, rumble. it should be uh, bring on the rumble and the the rambling redheaded. I put the in the wrong place. Oh, okay. So it should be bring on the rumble rambling redheaded orange face. Yeah, bring on the rumble the rambling. I put the the in the wrong place. Bring on the. Bring oh, on the, the rumble rum, the rambling the rambling red face. Okay, the orange. is in the wrong place. Yeah, the so should be before rambling. Need to the swap rambling, rambling and the. Yeah. Well, there bring on the rumble. The bring on the rumble. The rambling redheaded orange face. Bring on the rumble. The rambling, the rambling redheaded yeah. orange face responses to Biden's challenge. Responds to yes. So I took out one the, and no. the other the. No. Yeah. You know what you could do? You could retype it for her, and she can kind yeah, of read it. somebody could retype it for me. <laughs> Or we can sit here and talk about it for a while. Bring yes. Okay. Thank you, Ron. Except for I think the yes. faced D should go also. But yeah, so now there's a noun missing after orange face. Okay. Orange How face. many skeptics does it take to put it? <laughs> How many people who uh, write? One more time, you guys, and I'll just copy and paste it when we get there. Not the, the orange the, face. The number of Nazis here. <laughs> yeah, we have a lot of. Uh, Adjectives, but no noun. Yeah. Well, my my cat is offended. An orange face, and that becomes a noun. My okay. cat is offended that you keep referring to him as an orange face. Because he's an <laughs> orange face. Is somebody typing it again? Because I'm going to read these out. Okay, I'm going to read them out. According to the Dow, yes, we are better off than we were four years ago. Versus Biden slash Trump debate venue, Rikers, Sing Sing, or Leavenworth. Versus changes in latitude, changes in attitude, aurora borealis, top the charts. Versus both the sun and Trump's surrogates won't stop spewing. Versus I don't see the new one in here. I I fixed it in the uh, in the game. Okay, bring yeah. up Rumble, the rambling redheaded orange face responses to Biden's challenge. Is that right? Yeah, we we'll get it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. looks good. Okay, so we've got five teams now. We are set. Here we go. We have five people who will be giving us our our game today, and that's Romero, who's going to start off. He's not going to stay long because he has the early morning tomorrow. And then we have Jim, who hasn't uh, done one in a little while, so that's great. We're going to have something new with him, followed by Karen, who will be doing something eloquent, I'm sure. Eloquent? And perfect, whatever it is. Oh, perfect. It'll be perfect. It'll, it'll be elephant. <laughs> it'll Followed be just Rob wonderful. Palmer. <laughs> Followed by Carl it, doing bonus. Yeah. It's now, not irrelevant. It's a hip, it's a not irrelevant. Week, it's a hippopotamus. Next week, as I said, I will not be here. And the week after that, I will not be here. But I am expecting you guys to please show up. And we have nobody really scheduled at all except for Rob on two weeks from now. So I need all these filled up with your little happy face names in there so that we won't have any stress or trouble or anything. And this who's running the game in two weeks when you're in the second? Um, so week? next week, I think Ben is re running it, right, Ben? Oh, you're going to miss Avi. I think he's going to um, be in. Hopefully. <laughs> Carl's okay, going to have I'll... to be my backup. I have way too much crazy work stuff okay. going on. So it'll be like I just Carl. I just got done with work tonight. That's why I was late. So, ooh, so this will yeah. be Carl and Ben, Ben and Carl. And the if it's if it's Carl, we'll need to make sure that he can get into your account because okay, you know when fine. I get in, it sends you a code. Sounds like an ice cream. 
And then the following week, we will have, won't be Adrian, I know. I can help. Karen will help. So Karen and somebody else who can get in or we'll let them in. We will deal with that soon. <laughs> I will put a question mark right there, Karen and somebody. All right. So I'm ready to start. You guys ready to start? Romero's ready to start, right, Romero? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, let's go for it. Everybody's got their powers, I believe. Oh, who doesn't have their powers are supposed to have it? Karen, oh, I think. I guess I should. Yeah, okay. I've just been giving them to everybody early, and I'm not not taking them away from you because you're all good people. I could be trusted. I'd, I'd go to jail for you. But <laughs> okay. would because you stand outside the courthouse and uh, and uh, protest for me and tell the judge and his daughter they're evil? Yeah, that makes sense. Here comes Deborah. <laughs> okay, wait. Let me put Je Deborah on a team. Don't start. Okay. Until I, because she is about to be here. Let her get in. She has so many problems with her um, internet. So I'm gonna put I'm gonna put Deborah with Karen, Jane, and Vincent. Ugh. Okay. Do I have powers? Or... Oh, I didn't realize he didn't. Okay, you do. Okay. All right. Uh, ready? Or not yes. <laughs> okay. All right. So the. The topic for today is uh, toilet paper. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. For the world. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. We just had a toilet cut right. recently. Oh, well, then you yeah. should be on this. Didn't we have I'll that really debate well. about whether that should be the, the paper should come on the outside? That's not a debate. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's one, just let's just uh, wipe the slate clean. Come on. Okay. All right, let Romero go. Go. Number one. Uh, in what century was the first recorded reference to paper being used for toilet purposes? Number two. What percentage of the world does not use toilet paper either because it is too expensive, or for cultural reasons? And, and this is plus or minus 10%. Make sure you put those questions in there early so that, because you know what Jeanine oh, gets like, you know? Yeah, that's right. Sorry. She gets Sorry. she gets a little antsy. I'm just... Sorry, Janine. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> according to QS supplies, approximately how many trees are used to create the supply of toilet paper for the U.S. for one year? This is going to be depressing, isn't Plus it? Or minus totally, I'm already crying. I know the world is falling <laughs> apart. It's being flushed down the toilet. Or which country uses the most toilet paper per year? And this is not per capita. I was going to say the whole country or per capita, because that's a big difference. Oh, the whole country. Yep. Uh, it is believed, although debated, that tersorium was used. Oh, sorry. It is believed, although debated, that tersorium was used by ancient Romans instead of toilet paper. What is tersorium? Is that a tongue? Oh. Yeah. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. I, I actually know the answer uh, to that. Edit. Somebody mute Susan. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Number six, uh, toilet paper is a mixture of hardwoods like maple and oak and softwoods like pine and fir. fir. What is the proportion of these two? A, 70% hardwoods, 30% softwoods. B, 50% hardwoods, 50% softwoods. Or C, 30% hardwoods. Uh, oh, sorry, that's a typo. Uh, should be 70 percent right. softwoods right? Yeah, i was gonna i was gonna, switch, I was gonna, I was gonna switch on switch behalf of adrian that the math was wrong there <laughs> <laughs> yeah so it's uh the opposite of a yeah so it, it was just i just wanted to make them symmetrical uh seven uh how many rolls of toilet paper can be made from one tree there's a range i will accept an answer in that range 
So a size of a tree. Is is, a, uh, what kind of tree? I mean, is it a hardwood or softwood? A toilet paper tree. <laughs> Well, we've already oh, known. Well, yeah, well, I, I, which is that's just shortened to a toilet tree. You, you buy toilet trees. Ah. We've, already <laughs> tree. we've already said that it's not just one tree. There's there's a mix of hardwood and soft. Right. So let's just say the yeah. average tree. If, average tree. If one was going to use one tree. <laughs> yeah, because a tree has got to be a certain height and girth. Right, which varies greatly. I mean, it's a grafted a tree. Sequoia versus I, I was going to say that, Leonard. Yeah. It's, a, it's a grafted tree. It's a, grass, it's a range. toilet paper tree. Oh, we're getting our argument okay. now before we please stop answer. using the word girth when talking about toilet paper and poop. Thank you. All right. Uh, no, no. Number eight. This this TV personality in 1973 caused a toilet paper shortage by telling a joke. <laughs> okay. Number nine, what company is credited with, with being the first to market and sell toilet paper on a roll? And finally, number 10, what is the most expensive brand of mass-produced toilet paper? It is reported that Beyonce only uses red rolls. Beyonce. Beyonce. Okay. Oh what what, what did you call her, Romero? Beyonce. <laughs> you knew you could have fucking asked me how to pronounce that earlier and I would have told you I was. Okay. <laughs> red rolls. Okay. And does her and does her and does her twin be twice a? Uh -huh. Does she have a twin? Is this what happens when Romero and Faith? No, are in she has rooms? a sister named Solange that will beat the shit out of you. So be careful. Be careful. She beat the crap out of Jay-Z in in a uh, elevator. So. I can't believe you know these things, Faith. Oh God, this right? is a hell of a way to start with this category. <laughs> okay, good job, Romero. <laughs> the okay, any rooms. questions? Any questions? Before Just we the average rooms? size tree. Yeah, that 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 is really vague. Okay, well, well he's got an answer. Best, you know, there's a, there's a range. This is what experts use to estimate, you know, different things in calculations okay. of how much. You know, it's like that old thing that they say: How long does it take a uh piranhas to eat a cow i mean nobody ever asks what size cow is it a baby yeah. cow well is they don't vary as much as trees do though i mean well literally the trees that are too average too tall we got it thank you how many, how many piranhas is it <laughs> <laughs> okay let me add the people to the room and us to our rooms we're okay. good <laughs> i'm gonna go to put uh you guys in your rooms ben is going to one deborah is going to go to three and I'm going to go to one. And I'm going to one. Oh, my allergies are bad. I don't have patience tonight. Yeah. I'm sorry. Just like, um, Just what's to, to the point? Name. What's our team name? Our team names, according to the Dow, yes, we are better off than we were four years ago. And we'll, we will see. Um, Lee pretty soon. He's at a llama meeting. You yeah. know, llamas got to get together once in a while. And... In, in order. Um, so, <laughs> okay, so questions. Who's doing this? Right. Hold on. I was writing down the team name. It was too lengthy. I don't like it. No. <laughs> all right, that hurt my feelings. No, it's fine. I like it. It was just a lot to type. It's all. Because <laughs> normally I'm uh, I'm here earlier and I already have it, so I had to like real quick type the name out. Okay. Uh, am I sharing you? the right screen? Yeah, I hope so. Okay. <laughs> Unless you have another discussion about toilet paper going on a different screen. Yeah. First. Okay. Reference to toilet. what do we think? What century? Well, what century was was first written recorded? So. Yeah, it's recorded, so I doubt it's Egyptian or anything. It's probably like. Well, Egyptians recorded. Yeah. But they recorded they really like their day to day paper, toilet stuff. paper, and butts and wiping it. And I mean, <laughs> sure. <laughs> an interesting hieroglyphic, higher, higher, higher graphic. I bet it's something like 1400s or something. The first time that it was written down. Not the first recorded paper. reference. 
Yeah, I can't imagine somebody doing that on stone, carving it. Yeah, but... <laughs> okay. Well, so the, the Egyptians did use papyrus to write down things. Um, mm, that's true. The Chinese, when did the Chinese first use paper? Mm. That's a good thought, yeah. Um... Chinese, Japanese, they use paper. So I'm not sure if it's earlier. <clears throat> Could it be like the first between the first and fifth century? I don't know. Take a wild guess. Somebody get a guess. Thirteen hundreds, three hundreds. The way it's written, I'm thinking it's more recent. Not in my lifetime or anything like that, but <laughs> <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> but I'm thinking it's probably seventy four. Um, first recorded reference because if it was like 400 BCE or something, I mean, how who would know that? How would, how would we even? That's not even a guess. It'd be like plus or minus a thousand years or something, or plus or minus five hundred years. Well, and who was good at documenting? You know, and and that. So I I'm thinking again the way it's recorded is like I like China as a I think it's probably like 1400 or 1300s or let's go with 1300s 1300s yeah okay yeah okay what percentage of the world does not use toilet paper no idea but I bet it's big I was thinking like 10 percent and then when he said there was a margin of 10 percent I was like yeah oh, maybe. well. I don't I'm think gonna China say does, and India does, do they? I don't think so. And that's an awful know. huge population. I think most well, Europe probably they have bidets. Right. Oh, that's if true. you if you spray enough water up your butt, you don't need to wipe yeah. it, right? But you're also the other part is how would I guess women would use reusable rags and stuff. Yeah. Didn't uh, Jamie say in Thailand they use a gun? They use a spray gun? Mm-hmm. It's gonna, be like, also, what, I, it's, it's gonna be like forty percent. Watch. But no, I'm, like I'm thinking. I'm thinking because remember, women use toilet paper for other things besides pooping. Yes. So you want to so, say like twenty five percent? I would say that I don't because that would have us anywhere from I like bet it's higher to thirty five. Right. Do you want to do thirty? That's an awful big margin. I was I, I was gonna say thirty five, but. 30 would work as well. Okay. What do we want to do? 30 or 35? 32. 32. There you go. I like it. How many trees are you used to create? Oh, in one year. In the U.S. For the U.S. Like 100? Uh, I, I don't even have a guess. Hundred thousand, maybe. I just bought toilet paper. My we go through toilet paper like crazy. Well, how many people are in your house? Well, it's me and my two kids. So, unless they're TPing people's houses, and I don't know. <laughs> they're they're not quite old enough yet, but soon. Yeah. I don't know. But yeah, I mean, I, I should say I don't. I don't have to buy it super often. So it was the first time I had to buy it in a while. So how many trees are in the side? Like five thousand. Is that too high? Too low? I think that's too low. Five thousand trees to make toilet paper for almost four hundred million people. for a year. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, per year. I would say hundred thousand. Hundred thousand. Is that I mean, too low? It's pretty thin. I, I don't know. Well, it depends if you're using Beyonce toilet paper or you're using mid-range toilet paper or the cheap. Okay, wait a minute. So there's how many trees? I don't know. Which well, country what's the, what's uses the, the most toilet paper? We know it's not France. I don't think it's England because England has bad pipes. And Probably I, us. Or it wouldn't be Canada because they have a smaller um population but also two well. how about brazil well it's like you think um here's the thing it, it wasn't 
per capita, we said, right? So it's just total. Mm -hmm. So, so USA uh, or you have to look at population then too. Well, that's uh, what I'm saying. Brazil does a like big China population. use toilet paper? Or they do it a different way. No, China does not use toilet paper. Nor does I, I say USA. That's what I. Yeah, I don't probably because okay, we're so wasteful USA, too. There's so many of us. That's why. That's exactly what I was thinking because we are not the best of. Yeah. So what did Romans write their booties with? Corn cob? You mean corn husks? The corn is native to the U.S., right? Okay. Yeah. What if they use romaine lettuce? <laughs> Tersorium. Trying to decipher that word. I know that boats, you know, ships, they used to use rope. And they would fray the rope at the end, and that, and they used it like a little tiny small broom kind of thing, like hemp. No, let's do that. Do you want to something like it? that? But I don't, I don't think that sounds like tesorium. Sounds like, yeah, I don't. Think... That doesn't sound like it would be hemp or a rope or. Um. Could it be leaves? No. Yeah, that's what I was trying to think of some plant, but the name doesn't sound very like olive leaves or fig leaves. Yeah, let's go with fig leaves. Uh, could we just or say leaves? Big leaves, leaves big leaf. enough? Just put leave. A leaf. Leaf. Leavies. <laughs> Do you want to come back up here? Maple and hard. I would think it's more softwood. You would hope. I wouldn't want to be no, wiping my butt with yeah. hardwood. Depend on the brand. Maybe it's half and half. Probably not well, A. Well, it's either half or half or C because you need some hardwood in there to keep it from disintegrating, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> this category is hilarious. I would say let's see B. We'll be talking about this for a while. We're saying B, 50 50? Yeah, I would sure. say. All right, 50 -50. Can you imagine being the people who have to test this? And How many to rolls come out and do a survey? Yeah. How many rolls of toilet paper can be made from one tree? A hundred thousand. Uh, from one tree? Ten thousand? Because yeah. if we're saying that we use about a hundred thousand trees to make toilet paper. Yeah, but that's a guess, and that could be way off too. I don't know if I'd base it off of our previous answer. How many oh, rolls crap. of toilet paper can be? One tree. I'm looking at trees right now. Um. Yeah, are we talking redwoods? What kind of trees are we talking okay, here? Uh, let's see. How about a thousand? We're gonna get out of that. We're gonna all be doing that, Caroline. What? Random. Thousand. Looking out windows. Maybe. A thousand. A thousand. This is shitty category. Uh, 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 well, I heard two people say a thousand. Please. Okay, now um, what could this have been? 73. So who was, so Johnny Carson, was he, he was in 73, right? Or laughing, was laughing. How about Jack that? Benny? Was he around? I don't know, 73. Um, oh, it's probably that Dangerfield guy. Rodney, Rodney Dangerfield? He, he's, well. TV well, personality. TV personality. Okay. I don't know so, if I consider Rodney Dangerfield a TV person. No, he's a comedian. Who did the it was the late show with Johnny Carson? Was yeah, it Johnny yeah. Carson? Okay, put Johnny Carson. That's a good guess. I don't know the answer. I don't either. But he's a TV personality around in 73. Yeah. yeah. He was James Randy. Oh. <laughs> no. Wow. What company? Oh, wow. It seems like we've had this before. Or something enough about this. We were doing branding or something. Was it three? That's all I could think of. Procter and Gamble. I it, might, it would have been. Mm -hmm. Johnson. The There's Johnson and Johnson, Procter and Gamble, Kimberly Clark, Quaker Oats. I want to say Proctor. Have oh, they been Proctor around a long day? Because it's been a while, hasn't it? Yeah. yeah. 
what did he used to be just like little leaves like the like the flat stuff like napkins and you pick one up and the next stairs stairs robux because they used to use them yeah no, yeah because I, yeah, I remember they would market the cat i remember my parents and my grandparents telling me they use the sears and robot catalog i remember that in the outhouse do you yeah. see yeah. that's what not? my my grandparents said that's what mine did too what is the most expensive i, I have no idea I red know. rolls how would you i know this one you know this? Yes, because I used to read TMZ um, when they would do, like, so they got this inform they would read artists, um, music writers for when they had to be at concert venues. And I believe it's called Renova or Renova. R-E-N-O-V-A. R-E-N. O-V-A. Yeah, I think. Sure. We're not going to get hit hey. for spelling, right? It, it reminded me of it, like, like Regina Rain Queen. That's because ridiculous. They, sell, they, they make toilet paper in all these different colors. Oh, boy. And that was one of her requirements was apparently Queen Bee had to have, or Queen Bay, excuse me, had to have her red toilet paper. It's a long time ago. Did it have that? red dye number whatever <laughs> red 40 or so it probably did i don't know i think they also made like black toilet paper like but it's technically not the most expensive brand of toilet paper because there is a company that i think that makes 24 karat gold oh give me a break i'm not sure well trump has a 24 karat gold toilet or something like that one of well i could see i mean that's, that's possible you. it's just like i mean something durable he needs it that's not a durable toilet like <laughs> Okay, Kevin's here. All right. Well, he'll go on the team that has the low score. It's so bad. We were talking at my run today about, I were, was running with somebody who's a speech pathologist, and one of the kids that she was with cannot say the K sound. Huh? Or CK. He pronounces it as a T, and so she was trying to get him to say um, the C animal that has very sharp teeth and eats other animals, and he goes, oh, you mean a shark? <laughs> and he made a little face and so I had to share it. Oh, that's very cute. Yeah, so she was like, he kept talking about how the shark and she's like, he's has no idea what the term shark means. <laughs> oh, like, that's so funny. One day he will look back on it and realize what he called a shark. That's funny. <laughs> Baby shark. Do, shark do, 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 do. Baby yeah, thanks, shark. Thanks a lot there. You started me. You're on. welcome. My right. Good shark. job, team. Hey, Kevin. Hi. We're just coming back right now. You what? missed out. The category was toilet paper. That okay, if that answer is correct, <laughs> I'll say that we made the change at the last Welcome, minute. Kevin. Kevin is bummed, bummed his, he's bummed that he wasn't um, in, in here in time. Yeah. Oh, well. Okay. <laughs> for his right. bum is ready, bummed. Ready for the answers? Or... Bum. Yeah, I was, I want to know first, Romero, where did you, uh, what's that uh, on purpose, offer? Susan? Bum. Yeah, we want to know how crappy we did. Everybody has their hand raised, so we can't move our screens around. Kevin's got his hand oh, raised. Kevin, oh, that's Kevin, me. Have a question? Do you guys move your your screens around? I do, yeah. so I can find people. Oh, yeah. Do are we alphabetized or what? Uh, <laughs> just, I don't know. It's just all right. Here we go. Um, toilet paper! Yay! Yay! Look at those people wasting toilet wasting trees. Wasting trees. That's okay, bothersome. So, I think that's a CGI so, thing. So number one is the sixth century. What? Oh, oh wow. Sorry, I apologize. You were way off. Okay. 589 AD. This uh this guy said paper on which there are quotations. Somebody found how do, how do you pronounce person. that last name? Shit <laughs> Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, oh. I figured it but I figured it would be too Ooh. expensive uh, to Oh, I knew it. it until we were dead on on that one. We were right on. Good job. 
I we got that, that right in a way. We got yeah, we're close enough. <laughs> close enough. <clears throat> and number three is 31 million trees. So you can have what? between oh. 27.9 and 35.1 wow. million. Will you accept a hundred thousand? Because our team can't do that. <laughs> 31 million. Wow. Uh, number five is 70 this China. Ah, China. I, I China. Susan, you said you use toilet paper. Seventy percent of the world not using toilet paper. I'm, I'm, I'm still on that. Wow. Okay. Wait, America is number two. Yeah, yeah China. The place that you said doesn't China, use toilet China, oh, paper. I'm sorry to your belief system, Susan. Uses toilet paper. China doesn't use toilet paper. I don't know. Number two. China. China's the. China's the most populous country in the world, so it makes sense. Except for yeah, India, thought, which didn't is we, more. Didn't this come up a couple yeah, of weeks actually, ago? Actually, yeah. India passed it. Yeah, okay, yeah. I didn't think they used toilet paper. That. Yeah, but they don't use toilet paper, so there you go. So you China's see? the most populous country says? that uses toilet paper. Did this you see it says number two? <laughs> We're number yeah, two. Oh. Uh, Wait a minute. Uh, uh, we uh, don't uh, need to two. know what's in the toilet paper. We are paper, number okay. two. <laughs> uh, this is interesting the u.s with four percent of the world's population uses 20 percent of the world's toilet paper wow. it's so wow. like us that's why yeah. i had to ask about per person versus the whole country yeah well, that would certainly so the number good. five is a sponge and a stick yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. In, okay. In I trees, one, Jim. You it got it. Left soaking yeah. in the top of water in vin or vinegar between uses. Oh. Uh, vinegar. Wow. And, and it was Ouch. passed around. Passed around. Well, that, that makes sense. It would oh, kill, it would no, kill thank any you. any um bacteria. That makes a lot uh, of sense. Yeah. 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 But it would sting. Yeah. <laughs> So number six is 70% oh, hardwoods and 30% softwoods. Oh, oh. All right, Janine, you win. All right, good one. Is that A? That's A. 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 Uh, that's A. why we have three Canadians. Oh, well. Uh, number seven uh, is yes. between 800 and 1500. Oh, did you make Yay, that we got a point. Oh, we got, yeah. <laughs> got one point, yay. We're on the board. <laughs> And then uh, number eight is Johnny Yay, Carson. Yay, Whoa. team. Yay, hey, we got that okay, one. Okay, wait, do you, you play it? Uh, I can play it if you want. Yeah, uh, I want to hear it. See. Yeah. I, I want to hear what this I joke is. I have oh, to on a roll. sharing and then share with audio. Nah, yeah. it's like, no, we don't have to really put it. Yes, we would like to hear it. Thank yes, you. I, want to hear it. I, mean, I mean, you don't have to stop. You don't have to stop sharing. People show videos of Star Wars. Uh, of all the shortages we have, there's a gasoline shortage. You know what else is disappearing from the supermarket shelves? Well, Toilet paper. <laughs> ha ha ha! You can laugh now. <laughs> there is an acute shortage. <laughs> <laughs> of toilet paper in the good old United States. We got to quit writing on it. We got to quit. <laughs> but I want to tell you, it is serious. I just saw a commercial where <laughs> I know it's coming. Uh, where Mrs. Olson comes in with a shopping bag, and the housewife says, "Forget the coffee, just give me the shopping bag." <laughs> I want to tell you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh it, wow and that caused the uh, shortage huh little yeah, there's a mini, a mini documentary about the whole thing because there was a, a senator or something that talked about it so I, i'm going to post a link to the mini documentary. is there a wikipedia page for it i don't know it's a good question How do you well, check? Paper I think shortage that. would be a good wikipedia page Jenny we Carson, yeah. Yeah. The you pandemic that, and then of course the covid <laughs> shortage yeah <clears throat> toilet paper shortages over the years yeah 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 that actually that actually would be pretty educational deborah's next page okay yeah. <laughs> all right the number nine is this yes. oh, trying to think of that name dang it oh. that's what we like I, I knew i said it was like a one word thing but i right. couldn't think of yeah. it. Yeah. Roll. and god <laughs> is uh, 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 i have just sworn my husband to never ever ever buy any scott product again in his life yeah. so horrible and number 10 yeah. is renova from all oh, right all right uh, thing. yeah yeah, yeah. 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 Oh my god well, it's, it's, i remember it's i remember a uh, roll yeah why would they build with almost 11 oh they have other colors too but oh, why would you god. need that 
I remember we used to have part part of her tour rider. You have a huge ego. Yes, and it was part of her tour rider. So, like, every venue that hosted her for a concert had to keep this toilet paper in her bathroom. And does it come in a little sleeve like that? Like a little. Is that the packaging? It comes comes with a person that wipes for you. (laughs) (laughs) It's delivered by a Brinks truck. And it is monogrammed with her initials, so if you try to steal it, you'll feel guilty about it later, like they do in Germany. So Uh, per per capita, I I was also reading this, per capita, the U.S. is number two in toilet paper usage, and Portugal is actually number one. uh, Per per capita? Per per capita? Really? More than the U.S. Per capita? (laughs) <laughs> I, I just love at the bottom it says three roll special gift pack because you know that's, that's, what, that's how you want to receive your toilet paper in a gift the, pack the packaging is oh, amazing look at that how, quite seriously why would you want colored toilet paper remember the we same. used to have colored toilet paper and they no, got rid of it no, yeah, they remember toilet- beige and pink no and I don't remember the that same reason and I can I- honestly say I have absolutely no desire for colored toilet paper no, but people used to buy my, it, so it my, goes with their bathroom. And people buy novelty toilet paper all the time. My cousin bought her very Trump-loving Republican father some Trump toilet paper for Christmas. We had some one time yeah. that just had That's money printed on it. I'm sure that irritated his genitals. <laughs> <laughs> Great <laughs> category, Romero. Let's do our yeah, This is good. <laughs> that, was, that was quite good. It, mm. Following on the, the category we had in the past mm. on oh, okay. toilets. Very good. I right, thought it was so. the shit category myself. But, oh, <laughs> uh-huh. All right. Watch so the here's the team names. <laughs> Bring on the rumble. The rambling redheaded orange face responds to Biden's challenge. Six. Did you count oh. with Scott? Scott? Yeah. Because we did get that. Okay, good. Both the sun and Trump surrogates won't stop spewing. Uh, I count seven. Okay. Changes in latitude, changes in attitude. Aurora Borealis top the charts. I believe we got four. How do you guys not <laughs> know what your score that. is? We got more than that? Are you sure? No. I think we got five. No. Did we five? get five? Other, what do other people think? Two, five, seven, oh. eight, and ten? No, we didn't get five. ten because uh, it was the wrong name. I said Ravona or Renova. Yeah. Yes, but I put the other one. Well, that oh, we wow. get the point. That's your typo. <laughs> okay, Lexi has no excuse. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Biden. All of it. Biden Trump debate venue: Rikers, Sing Sing, or Levensworth? Levensworth. Five. Some oh, other toilet oh. paper. Okay, according to the okay, Dow, yes, that's, we are okay. better off than we were four years ago. Three. And that's Romero's team. You you stink it up. So three. That's a number one and a number two added together, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you know, we weren't doing so well. We thought we just had a number one, and then you know, it along came the number, number two, two. <laughs> and we got a three. Oh, you guys are bad. Okay, good that job, was late Romero. I was you in ended the with a five point two. That's a great average. I like to see that. It means that we've got a range, and it's not. An obvious one. Very good job. Are you leaving soon or are you leaving after the break? After the break. Okay. Good so job. So, Susan, are you going to show the scores? Thanks, Romero. I, no, I'm not allowed to show the back. scores in the first back round. Back I have oh. to. <laughs> oh, all right. It's, it's Celia, we started doing it this way. And if I deviate, I get yelled got it, at. Got it, got it, got it. Hey, no, I know, I'm not here to cause Kevin, problems. the second round, <laughs> I have to. Your position I'm... is perfect, Kevin. It looks like you're wearing the hat. Yep. We could take Kevin a vote. Of, great, Kevin. <laughs> we could take a vote on that, Susan. I don't actually know that you'd get any complaints if you added something like showing it. Who's the number first. two? Oh, I don't know. I think that it would be. I think it would be. There might I be some vote, kind I of cosmic thing that happens or something. I don't. I'm. I'm wary of it. So Jim is next up. I don't know what Jim's doing now. You told me what he's not doing. So yes. Yes. Well, I think. I think you'll figure out the theme fairly quickly. Is it a mystery <laughs> theme? Uh it's it's too it, it becomes too obvious to be a mystery theme. So is your background giving us a hint? So, uh, <laughs> it's all about Seinfeld. It's all about nothing. <laughs> okay, so uh, so, so so shall I 
give you the first uh, of the questions. Or we can that think about it. That would be a start. Psychics. Sure. <laughs> Go ahead, Jim. What is the second highest mountain in the world? Okay, is this in the chat? Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, sorry. I didn't hit, hit return. I have to hit return on that, don't I? There. Where is my chat now? Where, where did everything go? That was weird. All my things disappeared. Okay. What is the second most deadly conflict in human history? <laughs> Ooh. This theme fits with the first category. Speaking of number two, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I I did I, I didn't know what the uh, I didn't know what the previous uh, quiz would be about. <laughs> what is the second country to build a nuclear bomb? <laughs> uh -huh. well, I guess it's getting obvious now. Yes. Oh. Paste. Okay, second coldest capital city in the world. What is the second highest mountain in North America? <laughs> Who is the second human to set foot on the moon? Allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> on the alleged moon. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. Good one. What is the second country to build a nuclear reactor? I would think some of these would be easy and some of these would be no, they're all really pure. They're all very scary looking. They're all very hard. <laughs> Second biggest glacier slash ice sheet. Um, what is the second deepest lake? Now, admittedly, some of these I had to I had to look up to make sure that I had them right. <laughs> oh, I mean, and, you knew these? Uh, oh, uh, I second just, deepest I, lake in the world. Yes, second deepest yeah, the, lake in the world. Second biggest glacier and the second biggest lake in the whole world. Second deepest, deep, not in not area. <laughs> oh, okay, good point. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Second okay. deepest ocean trench. So, do you want to call this number two, or do you have a better <laughs> title for it? <laughs> How about seconds? <laughs> okay. Runners up. Uh, do we get a point if we guess the theme? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to do it second. Yeah, because we did number two already. <laughs> yes. Oh, no, okay. seriously, I did a category called number two a long time ago. Yeah, I do remember mm -hmm. that. Oh, All right. Okay. Thank you, Jim. Can you send us to our room? None of these questions. Oh, okay. Uh, so, and Kevin, oh, Kevin's going to go on the team. Sorry, okay. I forgot. Uh, who's in uh, last place? Oh, You're uh, on first that team. Would be under more. No. Oh, breakout rooms. Okay. So you guys played that well. Team one, we, we, we played that well. We got okay, so so, so I say so I click on open all rooms and then it, and then it, then that's gives the message. That does it. Okay. It. There we go. Okay, so I guess I click not now and then I go around. Yeah, you rooms. can jump around and the team the team two is the one that's going to record. So yeah. spend less time there. 
So you can look at the video later. Jamie, you are in four. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The highest mountain in the world actually was not was not Everest because isn't there isn't there one that is actually underneath the sea? Under the sea. Yeah, there yeah. is one that if you measure from the bottom of the sea up, it's higher than Everest. So could conceivably could Everest be number two? Oh, I see well, what you're saying talking about highest. So it would, it, yeah, that's a good point. That's not, elevation tallest, above sea level. If it's the tallest, then I could see using the water. Right, we'll have to ask. Have, we'll have to ask him when he comes in because well, I don't see him. I don't see him doing a trick question. That's why. No, but I would no. What is the highest mountain in the world? Second. Well, that's Everest, isn't Denali second? I don't know. There's a K2 or something like There's that. There's also a K2, yeah. In, I in think K2. There. Actually, I think it is more likely K2. At least we know how to spell K2. Uh, or is it Y2? Y2? <laughs> <laughs> or well, why not? Second most deadly conflict. Would that be World War One? That's what I would think. Because Civil War was the, the most? World War II has got to no. be the most. And World War Two is the most. World War One. It's, it's got to be. I can't, I, don't, I can't think of any other world conflicts that would have involved that many people second country to build a nuclear bomb was that with the soviet union that was the soviet union they were right behind us right yeah i think i'd heard yeah. that well on the other hand is it possible that either france or britain i don't think so no, they no, I think they it came was much the Soviet later. Union. I think actually they even stole some of our stuff. Um, what's the co second coldest capital city? I was thinking I'm Canadians. Like this I is was yours. thinking it. Well, capital city. I mean, Ottawa is not one of the coldest. I'm thinking like Reykjavik, Reykjavik, or, yeah, Reykjavik or Oslo, but it's second, which is why and I think is Reykjavik, Reykjavik, Reykjavik is. is is Iceland, because of where it's located in the Gulf Stream, is Iceland that cold? Uh, I'm just wondering if one of the I'm, Scandinavian countries up north. Greenland. Is, except who Greenland's knows the capital of Greenland farther north. Because I don't think it's Oslo. Oslo's too low. Yeah, Oslo's, yeah. Oslo's at the very southern tip of... Mm -hmm. So um, where's Hel yeah. but Helsinki is a lot further north. Helsinki isn't it? is in Finland, so that's got to be. I would think Greenland might be the coldest, right? The capital. Of What's the capital city of Greenland? Well, I don't know, but if they're the most Green Greenville, maybe Finland Greenville. would be the Greenville. Maybe um, the capital of Finland might be second, which is Helsinki. So. Should we go with Helsinki? I've never heard of Helsinki. Oh, we know we, we don't know the capital of Greenland. Because <laughs> we don't know. We're gonna, yeah. Therefore, we're going to make it number one. And oh, uh, ask Finn. Jim about number one. Yeah. Uh, is it above sea level? Yeah, go Yeah, go with sea level. Okay. okay. So and, uh, about oh, and, uh, and, uh, and room one was asking, uh, oh, let's see, for asking with connection with number two whether that includes civilians and i said well if the if the civilians are getting killed by the military then i guess they count <laughs> yeah yes friendly fire and all that stuff yeah, yeah. Okay. okay all right we got thank that you. thank you highest mountain in okay, north america so again, denali is the highest in so north america Mount McKinley. that's denali same thing Oh, uh, Rainier. I, I don't uh, mean the one, the one by Bishop in California. What am I trying to think of? <laughs> what about Rainier? Yeah, I'm no, thinking right. No, it's not Rainier. Um, the one by Bishop. You know, no, in not... California, right outside of Death Valley, up there. Oh Is crap! That Shasta. No, Shasta's I... Shasta's close to the Oregon border. Oh, it's up there. Um, okay. It's oh, I'll think of it in a minute. That's why I thought Mount McKinley, but it's not. It's because no, that's in Alaska. That's that's the same as Denali. Um, yeah, it's you don't think it's Rainier. No, it's, I know it's not Rainier. Okay. I am very sure that that it's the one outside of Bishop, just to the 
and that's in California? East of, east of Death Valley in California. Um, damn, what's the name of that mountain? Think okay. about it. Let's, let's keep thinking about it. And we'll go on. Second right, we'll, person. We'll so the first one is Buzz, right? No, first is Neil Armstrong. Buzz okay. Armstrong. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, Buzz second. Was second. Unless you say that who took the photograph of Neil Armstrong? There was some photographer in the studio that they did the whole thing in. <laughs> was wasn't that, wasn't that you? Topic. They did that at a um, JC Penney's, I thought. <laughs> yeah. They have a, they have a, uh, the camera was on the, uh, the, the pod. Yeah, the, it's on uh, the foot the, of the thing. Yeah. What is All the right. second country to build a nuclear reactor? Is that That's France? That's what I'm it might be France. I, maybe. Second enough, biggest glacier. Now, I have no idea about a glacier. I don't know the names of these. Uh, you know why? It's probably, there's a big, where, yeah, I'm thinking the glaciers up around Banff and Banff, uh, you know, in the, um, I can't remember yeah. what any of them are called. Yeah, I don't remember any of the names of them. Is the Banff Glacier? No. What's the mountain at Bishop outside of Death Valley? What's that mountain? I don't know. I can't think of it. It's driving me nuts. I know it's the, it's the highest in in the U.S. Let's just call it that real big mountain by uh by yeah. and the real big glacier. Yeah. How about K two? G two. Deepest lake. Um, what is the biggest? What is the deepest one? Any possibilities Tahoe, of being superior? I, think, uh, superior? I huh? thought Tahoe was pretty deep. Wait for Janine to get back; she'll know this. And Ron, well, this is in the, this is in the superior? world, not in the U.S. No, but I mean, like I think Superior is the largest inland. Um, uh, a lake or well inland has to be the largest lake in the world i think yeah, uh, but i don't know if it's necessarily the deepest no but i'm just that's what i'm i'm wondering is there a lake yeah. in the grand canyon or just a river just the river and i can only wow. name one ocean trench so obviously and i think it's number one number one is monterey the, the mariana which is a monterey so I don't know what the second one would be. Maybe off of Japan. Are you talking about the gl glacier? No, the ocean trench, or maybe maybe off the coast of ocean Australia trend. by Gold Coast. Is there a? Well, the Mariana is the is the deepest, but that's nowhere near the U.S. I thought the Mariana was right outside of um, Cal Monterey. Oh, it I thought it was a mile deep. Our trench. Okay, I thought it was somewhere else, but maybe no, not. Why don't you call it? Why don't you use that one? It's, well, it's the only one I can name. So unless somebody's got another one. I think that's the deepest, isn't it? I think it? it is, too, but I can't I name another one. I think it is. Would you know another one? Mount Whitney. Uh, oh, there it came. Well, okay, there you go. I'm you. very sure it's Mount... Isn't it Mount Whitney that's right off of Death Valley? I've up never there? seen it. Like if I have, I don't remember Bishop it. Bishop... Because the highest in the the highest in the continental and the lowest in the continental are they might even be in the same county. They're really close. So what do you think about the ocean trench, Janine? Mariana, I thought, is the deepest, but I don't I, know. I, I think else. we think so too, but nobody can name a second trench. Same thing with the lake. I'm not sure what is, I, I don't even know what the deepest Would lake it be is. Oh, what's the deepest lake? Crater Lake? Crater Lake's the that. deepest in the U.S. Would it be second deepest in the world? What about Tahoe? Janine, I'd heard Tahoe was deep, is it? Oh, Tahoe yeah, is the, not the, as the, the deep as Crater relevant. Lake. Uh, Ron, what's the deepest lake in the world? I I don't know. That's what I'm trying to figure out. What, what oh, Lake, oh, Lake, Lake, Louise. Lake Louise. No, I don't think so. <laughs> um, maybe Crater Lake. Yeah, crater. Be. All right. Crater Lake's the deepest in the U.S. Um, I'm I'm still going after somewhere up there is Lake Superior because I believe it is very deep. Oh, Loch Ness. That's why. That's why they can't find Ness. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. 
And then we still um, got to figure out the name of any place. glacier. Gosh, you guys are smart because we did way better than I would have thought. That when I saw those don't questions, know how well we done yet? Well, you're, still, this is good. Guessing. Um, I, I like what are the glaciers up there in the glacier? Glacier National Park ice sheets. Yeah, no, I mean, not in Glacier National. Uh, Park. The name McKen McKenzie keeps coming up, but I know it's not the McKenzie. Um, I can't. Re I know What's there's the a big ice. There is a big ice sheet. Uh, and Jim, being from Calgary, I'm thinking that yeah, I know one, we were going to one of those we were ice sheets up, up in the there. neighborhood. I was thinking the Banff ice sheet. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, we were going to camp up there, and we it was September, and we got up there, and it started snowing, <laughs> and we're going. We're not going to. We're not going to camp in this. And uh, we had to go all the way down to Candid. I think it's Can Canmore, Candid, to find any place that had a hotel room that we could. Okay, so, you, so you've got guesses for all but, set, but, eight. but eight. We have a couple. Yeah, okay. we're not there and yet. The fact that he okay, called just... us guesses obviously says we got work to do. But anyways. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Uh okay, I'm I'm you just call, I'm just no you, I'm just noting which ones have entries. <laughs> yeah. So I mean you when you, can, you close and, the rooms, and, it's yeah, two you minutes. can close the rooms if you want. I mean yeah. yeah okay, I'll just I'll just go through a few more uh uh yeah. check a few more. Uh what, what are those ice fields? Uh, uh, Jack, I'm just, uh, Ron, John, yeah. um Athabasca. Um Oh, Athabasca. I forgot about them. I like that. Because there is a nice sheep for Athabasca. I think this was a C, maybe, instead of a K. Athabasca. No, I'm pretty sure it's. A, I'm pretty sure it's a K. So the ice fields. What's the national park that they're in? Is that? Uh... Well, there is a there is a glacier national park. No, I'm. That's in the U.S. Canada border up. There in the Alaska, one in Alaska or, or, or well no, you have Canada. Uh, you, you do have glaciers in Banff in the Banff, Banff National Park is yeah. Banff the highest furthest yeah. north because we, we drove know, up I mean, there we drove well, we up there who knows, what's, who knows what's up there that little city and then came down and we, and then we hit the ice fields did you go up to Jasper those? Where did you go, Jasper? Oh, Jasper. Yes, Jasper. And then we came south, down. And the ice that. fields are further, a little. A little further. They're between. Them. It's about three hours between Banff and Jasper. Banff, right. Banff and ja yeah. I almost said, I almost ran into a moose in, in uh, Jasper. And he's still um, talking about it. He says, that guy, he ran into me. Almost. Oh, are those, are those ice fields really big they seem really big they're not melting now like i never thought because i uh ron i took mom uh when she came up to visit what me about antarctica then yeah there's one well, it's all ice. Ice sheet. yeah there's one big ice sheet down there his name i can never remember but i think that's the largest one. Oh, that's the largest okay well i thought the whole the whole the whole um continent is ice it is but i think there's Piece different piece uh, ice sheets within it. There's, there's I remember ice we're, we're often talked about that. Yeah. So what do we? Oh, seven. We have France. I mean, we we've, we've got answers for everything. Whether we got we good have answers, answers for main whether system. they're right or not. Jim. Where is only, where where is Crater Lake? In where, Oregon. All right. It's our I'm, only national I'm, park. I'm still going. I'll, I'll accept that answer, but I'm still going with um, Superior. All right. Okay. Well. So you just decided you would make sure we. But the, if there's a if there's a deeper lake in the world outside of the U.S., which I would expect there is, um, Crater Lake is supposedly the deepest lake. Deepest. I take that back. Deepest. Freshwater lake. Oh, is Superior not? I, I don't know the Great Lakes. Is 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 are there are there sea are there saltwater lakes? That's funny. I guess I always think of a Great of, Salt of Lake. Lake. Uh, how about Utah? The Great Salt Lake. Oh yeah. Yeah, but 
Yeah. But is that that's very not deep? deep. It's, it's, not it's deep. going away. It's yeah, not it's, deep. It's not very deep at all. But yeah. I, and I, I, mean, and I know I the Marianne go with Lake Superior. Like, you, want uh, switch, you want to switch it to Lake Superior and then blame Alan when we're wrong? I'll take the blame. All right. Um, then I feel better to not be wrong, but <laughs> and no pressure. And then Mariana Trench, we know we're wrong on, but I, I can't think of the name of another trench. Trench redo, redo, redo. Because I don't know if Lake Superior is a freshwater lake. Oh, it is. It I is. Know, the, the Great Lakes are all freshwater. Yeah, they're all freshwater. And oh, it's they... the largest of the Great Lakes. I just don't know where it is. It is, I, it is, I believe, the largest lake in the world. It, like our inland lake or freshwater lake, whatever you want to call it, I think. That could be. That could be. It, I is, know it, Crater, it is. I know Crater Lake is the deepest lake. And, and Gail had that question last Hill. two weeks ago. But you know what? She was wrong on the stuff because she said Oregon had the largest cheese factory, which is total BS. <laughs> and I went to the website that she got her her information from. And the only reason I could tell that it was Oregon from the questions was the Crater Lake part. But uh, Tillamook isn't even close. I think it's the 70th largest. But that website was from a realtor. And it... Uh -huh had all kinds of mistakes it was really bad <laughs> so where is gail i don't know we'll have to ask jamie just two minutes thanks for making them so hard <laughs> you're welcome <laughs> my team was amazing so it was tricky you know, the tricky. answers may yeah, be not, well, but the team was amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, I, okay. I, uh, some of them I knew without having to look them up. Uh, there was at least one where I thought I knew the answer and, and, uh, what I knew, knew was the old answer. <laughs> so I, yeah. Anyway. Okay. What and, you got? Okay, so let's uh, pull up. Okay, I guess start putting the answers in the chat. Okay, chat. Okay, chat. And then, yeah, and then, and then there were some where, okay, I don't know it, and I guess there's a uh, copy. So first question. Oops. Okay. Um. So. So there's yeah K two. That's what it's called. K two. Yeah. Yeah. Is K two yeah, Kilimanjaro? Why? But why K two? <laughs> no, that was Y two K. Oh, all right. Yeah, Alan's <laughs> dyslexic. It's also okay. known as Mount Godwin Austin. Ah, okay. Uh, okay. It's it's because of the range. It's the Karakoram range, so it's the oh, second man. highest peak in that range. Yeah. What oh my goodness, we were really wrong in this next one. Yeah. Same here. Yeah. Uh, uh -huh. Yeah. I I'd, I'd heard that it was the Taiping Rebellion in in China in the 19th century, and then I started looking it up and found that uh, the consensus seemed to be that the Mong Mongol conquests were <laughs> the second. Wow. And uh, yeah. Well, then what was first? Uh, what was uh, World War One, World War Two. Because <laughs> yeah. they have World War Two as the second one when I look it up. Oh, so, so what so, do they have as first? Uh, are they saying that the Mongols uh, uh, came in first? Um, how many people died in that war? Oh, who's on third? Oh, gee, oh, gee I'd, have to, I'd have to go back several and... decades. The the answer he's looking for is the Mongol conquest. Thank you. Conquest. Otherwise, yes. we'll be counting yeah. people. And yeah, we'll be uh, never. Yeah, uh, I'm I'm going by what I I'm going by what I found when I started looking at it up. Okay. <laughs> do, do intergalactic wars between you know these these uh, the oh, empire. Oh yeah, when they blow up that planet. 
Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Alderaan. <laughs> so that's sad. yeah. I, I thought I, I thought the, I thought it was well known that the Soviet Union was the second one to get the bomb. <laughs> well, we'll find out soon enough. Yeah, but well, uh, but, but 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 I heard some but but some people were discussing it in a way that suggested that it wasn't. That's the one that came immediately to mind, Dean. I thought, oh, maybe that's too obvious, too easy. <laughs> yeah. Soviet Union. Well, I didn't want to put, uh, I didn't want to make them all impossibly difficult. <laughs> yeah. So there it is. Oh, second, second. Wow. Yeah. It used to be Ottawa, but it's all warmed up now, huh? Yeah. Well, our, or Kazakhstan picked a colder spot than Ottawa for their capital. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, it's higher up than Ottawa. Yeah. So when Kazakhstan <laughs> became its own country, it took the title. Oh, that yeah. makes sense. <laughs> one way that's to do a, it. That's a way to yeah. get your, your Any idea trivia. what number one to is? get into the book record books. Yeah. The trivia questions. Yeah. You know, what's yeah. number one? Coldest capital. Uh the capital of Mongolia, Ulaanbaatar. Oh, yeah. you were guessing now. like Reykjavik and yeah, we, we it's because they're mountains. Or even Reykjavik. Yeah. yeah. Second highest mountain, Mount Logan. What? Yeah. Janine, you failed. Yeah, it's, Where, uh, where's anyway, Mount it's Logan? in the southwest corner of, uh, of, of Yukon Territory. Canada. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Canucks. Oh, Canada. <laughs> yeah. I had three Canadians on my team and they didn't get it. And I went for the U.S.'s. We did too. <laughs> did and you? Still, oh, and I've still never that. heard of Mount Logan. Well, so. Jim was one of the Canadians and he was asking questions. So he was gone. Oh, that's true. I'm yes. not Canadian. So uh, that's true. We had two. I can say sorry. So anyway, sorry. second human to set foot on the moon is a space geek. I, I, I thought that was dreadfully easy, but... Uh, some people might not, might not have found it easy. <laughs> I had no clue. Yeah, it's amazing what we what people know what they don't know. And according to the Netflix cartoon series Inside Job, he never came back. There's a colony <laughs> which he's running, and the guy who says he's Buzz Aldrin on Earth is actually just an imposter. That <laughs> makes total okay. sense. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Did anybody get that? Yeah. 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 Oh. A lot of science oh. here. I yeah. thought it was Ukraine. I'm sorry, team. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, um, Jeez, where were our Canadians on this? Yeah. Uh, we, we've yeah. been away for a few years. Yeah. Yeah. I thought, uh, <laughs> no excuse, Rob. I mean, we've, d we've dumbed you down. Yeah. Is, uh, yeah. Is somebody a bad who, influence? Is somebody who was born uh, a few kilometers from where that happened. Uh, I, uh, it was fairly obvious to me, but uh, I didn't expect it to be obvious to everybody. <laughs> so the last answer was Canada. Yeah. Yeah. Seven. Thank yeah. you, Karen, for making that clear to the listening audience out there. All our many friends. Yes, yeah. they're all there. All twelve. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i thought it'd be kind of uh, i thought it'd be kind of fun to put both uh second nuclear bomb and second reactor and <laughs> figure see if anybody yeah, would come up with yeah yeah so greenland ice sheet I, what's the first uh, oh antarctica antarctic ice sheet oh, there you go oh so, oh, so we had that we were close oh, on that one we didn't know it we well we overthought it <clears throat> yay team one <laughs> Now I think I heard somebody actually mention this as a possibility when they in the discussion. Oh, Tanganyika. You know, that's the one I was thinking of, but I couldn't think of the name. So Leonard, what's number one? Leonard, Leonard. Uh Baikal. Mm -hmm. Where's uh, that? In, uh, Baikal in, in Siberia. Oh, interesting. Never heard of that one. How Didn't even know they had that's where they that. launched the, the rockets. Must be really the, uh, singing the singing nun used to sing that song, Tanganyika. <laughs> is that what she was saying i wonder always wondered what she was saying i always wondered yeah i wrote a wikipedia <laughs> article for a lake in russia that is starts yeah. as an l that's supposed to have a lake monster in it i could not pronounce it but ladoga yes <laughs> anyway second deepest ocean trench easier oh. who's gonna get lee 
What, Jim, can you finish your answer? Yeah, uh, second deepest o o ocean trench, Tonga Trench. Anyway, I've been put I've been putting this in the cat in the chat as I watch the first. Uh, what's the, the first? The right, uh, but the that's people Mariana's. that are watching the recording. The first is Mariana's Trench. They, the millions of people watching the recording. Anybody who's the listening, though, they can't read the comments, so we have that's to right. say it orally. Oh, okay. We're we're multitasking. We're reading and listening. Yes. Hi, Lee. Hello. Well, they're going to hey, fight Lee. over you in a minute. We're, Welcome we're, to the losing yeah. team. Okay. So, <laughs> Good job, Jim. Okay. So, uh, uh, ready? That was fun. Yeah, that's okay. fine. Thank you. Well done. Okay, so interesting. interesting the second best category so far today. Uh huh. <laughs> well, you missed the first category, which Romero did, which was toilet paper. <laughs> it was covered in shit. Uh, it was a total and, wipeout. And then we had, uh, then we had to have number two. Then yep. we did number two. That's true. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> um, the paper category was at number two. That would have been just a great bit of point. <laughs> okay, so here we are. Let's start with according to the Dow. Yes, we are better off than we were four years ago. Well, we obviously need to do better than our previous round. So we got four. We got one. Well more. done. Well okay, done. Hey, <laughs> you're tied for first. <laughs> okay. Changes in latitude, changes in attitude, aurora borealis, borealis, top the charts. We got a whole two. Damn. Oh, right. there's some ties going on here. Uh -huh. yeah. Biden Trump See? debate. You guys are all fighting for, for um Lee. Biden Trump debate venue. Riker, Sing Sing or Leavenworth. Three. <laughs> <laughs> we just lost <laughs> Lee. Wow. Bring on the rumble, category. the rambling, red-headed, orange face <laughs> responds to Biden's challenge. Um, I think nine. Yeah. Nine. Wow. Wow. Oh, Overachievers here. We had an agility. Not getting Lee. Which one would do did you miss by any <laughs> Canada? Yep. Oh. Second reactor. <laughs> so Blame oh, Canada. Canada. <laughs> All right, both the sun and Trump surrogates won't stop spewing. Six. Six. Okay, so how are we going to choose for Lee? That's quite a range. Two to Lee, nine. I guess, uh, I guess we get Lee. No, there's Maybe, two. Yeah. No, he, have him pick what name he thinks is funniest. Yeah, but now he knows sure. who's on each team. Well, either one of those teams losing someone. Okay, team one is losing Romero and it's losing Carolyn. Carolyn. It's also losing me too. I and think. Faith. What? No. How dare you? So it'll be, it'll be Ben and Kevin. The other team is going to yeah. lose Jane. We're going to lose Jane. Jane early, so they'll leave three. So I'm going to put him up on team one. Uh, yes. Jim, how long is Jim sticking around? Jim, are you sticking around? Uh, no, let's see. But that'll be Alan, Ron, and Janine. So that's okay. Yeah, you guys, you guys got eight. So if you'd scored lower, maybe you would have had Lee right now. But no, you never <laughs> think of that strategy, do you? No. <laughs> okay. We'll take Lee. Sounds good. All right. So fantastic. So let's do our photo before anybody. Photo. 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 Hello, Moto. Everybody in their spots. Thank no, you. I, I can't get my commercial. face to go on the. <laughs> are you gonna get in the picture kevin I can't <laughs> are you trying is kevin, you is kevin really half asleep be uh, no, i'm, I'm trying to uh zoom in and out my camera's working is it not show day kevin for a new yeah, it's just not showing me for some it's reason not, it's not it's not day okay ready kevin no it doesn't work i don't well, know why what is your problem there you are there you are there you are don't okay ready Okay, one, two, three. Okay, good. We got Celia. She, she's Celia. Does she's your hand have face. to keep moving? That's great. I love it. It's like right. the wings bye, on everyone. the Cottingley Fairies. Oh, bye. Bye, All right. Thank bye. you. Time for have a toilet paper fun. joke. <laughs> Hi, Jim. Twenty twenty-four. Be ready bye. for a toilet paper joke. Bye. Bye. Tell it toilet. Quick. What does toilet paper and Star Trek have in common? Uh-oh. Yes, no one else. Both, have both circle Uranus in search of Klingons. 
Oh, yeah, I've heard you that. Just, you need to just oh. shut up. Okay. That, that was is, wrong. That was wrong. That is so bad. Sweet boy humor. That that is disgusting. <laughs> Deborah's crying in laughter right now. She loves that stuff. Um, Klingons on the starboard bow, starboard bow, starboard bow. Klingons on the starboard bow. Speak of love, Jim. The cut out. Okay, so we've got some low scores. So hopefully that. Okay. That's fine. Five point two and uh, Jimmy got four point eight scores. That's fine. I like it like Hard that because question. it's good and tough. Hey, um, keep in mind, you guys. We need people for next week. We have, we have one person for next week, and I have one person for the week after that. So I need to start seeing some volunteers. Jim, do you want to do another category in a couple weeks? Um. Okay. Okay. I've. I guess I guess I can get my act together and talk on, on uh, with uh, yes uh, get, get it done. You could just okay. do number three and just <laughs> you did the research already. Just go Jim, to the next you one. are on on May thirtieth, <laughs> and I will be watching because I won't be here. I don't think, but I will be watching the video. So okay, I, I can, all right. Anyway, I could probably I'll, do uh, one last. Good night for now. Season. Okay, so you you want which week? Next week or the uh, week next after? Week I could do one. Okay, so yeah wonderful no idea what yet but i've got one in the works but i won't be ready next week okay do you want the week after yeah let's go for that that'd be may 30th that's fine might be a i don't know might be a silly one but i like silly silly is good okay so we're starting so that's fine as long as we finish this is okay all right four minutes left go okay i'll be right back we're still recording Mm. Oh. <laughs>
All right, we're coming back. Boy, you guys are quiet. Hope you went to sleep. Everybody's asleep just for the moment, though. I'm scrolling. We're just resting our eyes. <laughs> Somebody muted everybody. No. That's yeah, interesting. That's an interesting thing that he's doing by constantly keeping his eyes closed. He could say, no, no, I'm really just concentrating. It's an interesting well, thought. My understanding is he's doing that so he doesn't um, Act out. blurt out anything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that that might work. I mean, you know, seems to be working. Has no impulse. Um, Do you think he's wearing earplugs too? No, I don't think he can wear earplugs. That no, would be probably against the rules. No, he seems to be. I just wish it was recorded. Uh, you know, we could see it. it. Really is a bummer. We can't. Or even just the audio, like they do with Supreme Courts. This is historic. We should have had audio. I agree. I was thinking yeah. about the other day. I was thinking, you know, at least we should have been able to have the audio. They're doing the best they can, and they're doing a damn good job. They're live tweeting from inside, live, live, um, you know, doing it. I, I think it's amazing. Live beverage, yeah. Close, it's pretty good. To it. I'll do a category next week for you. All right, thank you, Vincent. Yeah. So, which news uh, company do people watch that sort of thing on? Uh, MSNBC. I listen to it on YouTube, and then I listen to uh, first thing when I get up in the morning. I read the New York Times and or the Washington Post, and they have live people live in the room, and then I listen to um, MSNBC and then CNN and usually that's enough and I'm sick of it by then <laughs> <laughs> I mean seriously they keep going over and over and I can't stand it when the news hosts are just it's obvious they're just trying to you know it's they have a huge it's amount like, of they have all this time to fill they do have yeah. a lot of time to fill and this is the only story they seem to have nobody's covering the Slovakian um yeah. Uh, I saw that in, well, I saw it in the New York Times this morning, but nobody's covering it that I've seen so far. And that's a huge story. And, and yet it's not being covered. I, it's, it's sad, but MSNBC tends to be that way and uh, frustrating. But I, you know, if you start getting into the problem, I don't want to get distracted. I could watch BBC or one of the others, and then I'd get sucked into another story and then I'd be following that, and then I'd never get anything done. So I guess MSNBC is political, and that's why they're not, they don't follow world news. So, well, that is a lot political. of places do. Yeah. Other places do. I mean, I get it on NPR. Yeah. So yeah. PBS also does a pretty good job. I don't know. They're all just a little different, but I, I like I say, you know, if you start watching one of these things and you go, well, what's going to happen? And then you, it gets to be too much. I'm going to get another. I'm going to get a Dr. Pepper. Anybody want anything? <laughs> right you got to get a diet. I'd Dr. like Pepper. some milk duds. I only have a few left. I haven't been eating. I don't care. Food. I'll eat them. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty safe to say. <laughs> In real life, I wouldn't do that. But. <laughs> <laughs> oh deborah i'm sending yes, ma'am. You, i'm sending you a message okay I've written here i've been but... going slow on the milk duds you guys i'm just not as into them as i was they were almost like a meal now it's like see here diet dr pepper oh it's just, diet i don't know pepper. i'm starting to change my head <laughs> it's it's just the way it is you eat or drink something all the time and then you start getting okay i'm done with that so you're a Dr. Pepper, are you? I'm a pepper. You're are a you a pepper? pepper? Yeah. Would yeah. Would you like, like to be a pepper too? All right. Yeah. So we're back. Everybody get back. Anybody know where Gail is this week? Maybe hope she's okay. I was going Kyle to. and Brandy. We haven't seen them in a while. Okay. We're back. Yay. I wonder if anything's been happening lately. I've got a couple things to share. Rob, you have anything? Oh, I, just before the game, I finished my presentation for next week. 
What's yeah. next week? Uh, I think there's a little skeptic camp going on somewhere near uh, Raleigh, I think. Oh, yeah. they have I skeptics did. down there? I Yes. <laughs> I and so. we've We're added, some, we've added yeah. somebody. And I think I talked about it last week. We've added camp, camp, Cameron Watts. Coleman. Coleman. Coleman Watts. He's going to be in our room. It's going to in our room, in our house. So I guess we better know what it is. Jane, Jane's not back yet. I don't know if she knows that we have another man in our house. Jane's like get a bear as well. Bear. <laughs> We're going to be outvoted by men to women here pretty soon. So we have um sorry. Sorry, 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 make a noise. Um yeah, so next week is going to be in Raleigh. And then the week after that, it's going to be New Mexico, and in between the two, I'm going to be in St. Louis. Doing two different talks in that area. Wow. You're all over the place. And then we're getting really close to in Buffalo, Eugene, and Seattle. One right after the other. I think it's going to be uh, Buffalo, Seattle, Eugene. I think I that's ordered. Faith, you all ready for us to be up there? We are doing our final preparations. It should be fun. For, for people who said... I don't think we can do a skeptic camp, Susan. These people have pulled together. Just as I knew they would. Mm -hmm. I'm your MC. Sure, oh, faith, are make you? sure you have I, enough faith. Make sure you have enough milk duds. Uh, we, we're going to definitely make that part of Susan's gift bag. So I'm not, really as, I'm not as into milk duds as I used to be. So, Well, that's easy. Just saying. I was really into them. Now I'm kind of like, I mean, they can last me a few days now. What are you? Oh, a few days. <laughs> Well, I was eating two uh, two boxes a day. <laughs> oh wow! Because <laughs> I, was, I had oh, that I loved them. circus peanuts. Ramiro oh, doesn't yeah. understand it. it. This is, I think I opened this a few days ago, so that's good. I mean, well, I started stuff. I started packing today. Okay. And I, put, I put my towel in my suitcase. Well, we're gonna oh, have excellent. towels for us, well, Rob. Mm -hmm. We have we have special towels for you. So do I. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he has a towel. And, and plus, I need to travel with it on the plane. I can't wait till I get to Raleigh to get a towel. So this will be so much fun. So Erica, I've asked her if she'll bring me a book. So I'm gonna. Uh, oh, I'll be fun. I want to get that signed. Yeah, me. So um, yeah, I was, I pulled out my my talk and I started cleaning it up today, and and I've got to practice. I, my talk is done. It's written. I just got to practice it. I, ju I just, I did you hear that I changed my topic? Did you know that? Mm -mm. No. Okay. So what it's going to be a surprise. It's going to be a surprise for you. Okay. All things Susan Gerbic. <laughs> oh, <do> not. <laughs> I know yeah. toilet paper. There's a little, oh, a, li a little bit of references to uh, the Hitchhiker's Guide in it now. Oh, because that's perfect. Oh, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm looking right now. Um, yeah. Where are the so nobody's here representing the skeptic zone this week. Mm. No, anybody have anything for the skeptic zone? Here, there. Oh, we have times. I'm first. Oh, Lord, I'm first. Kevin, you look so funny with your hand propping up your head right by Trump's hand waving up in the air. <laughs> it, just looks, it just looks like weird. It's like... Oh, it's a UFO presentation they don't want you to attend? Yes. <laughs> That's really good. Oh, this is going to be so much fun, you guys. I'm going to have... this. The next two weeks are going to be a blast. Okay. Oh, wow. You got a lightning talk. Oh, I love this. I love that I don't have to micromanage anybody. I hate micromanaging people. Okay. So how, how long are the lightning talks, Faith? I don't know. I think they're like 10 or 15 minutes, but I'm also being the timekeeper. So it's it's whatever. Uh, I will be like micromanaging everybody. Okay. And I've okay. had a lot of practice with work this week. Ooh. Is Carl back? My, the first time I ever did a skeptic talk at all, I did it at New York City Skeptic Camp. Actually, it was Speedy Camp. And Mitchell Lambert was the MC, and he had to pull somebody off the stage. So I'm looking forward to seeing, seeing you have to do that, just not with me. I was okay. going to come dress up as Queen Elizabeth and try to make like. Yeah. You know, I want you to do that. Joke. I'm not actually not going to do it because 
I was told it would be insensitive to make jokes about King Charles. Oh, at least he's not. At least he's not using homeopathy to treat his cancer. But um, I'm, you know, so I don't think it'd be insensitive. It might be. <laughs> okay. And why so. would anybody care? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just gonna say, you know, I mean, you have faith there. That's gonna be like I don't know why we're having a skeptic camp when we have so much faith. But <laughs> oh. okay, here we go. I, I'm gonna show you guys something. Are you guys ready? Is yeah, I actually, I actually have a video of uh, Carl Sagan talking about faith, so that should be interesting. Is everybody nice. sitting down? Because I have, I have a, um, you know, one of those things where people look like other things, mm -hmm. other people. Okay, okay. You guys ready for this doppelganger? Right. A doppelganger. Thank you. Wow! Wow! wow. Carl. Oh, oh my Carl. gosh! Carl, you are a time traveler. Wow. And now I have to kill you all. <laughs> oh, and he's almost profile too. Oh who who is is I mean, that? Even more. Who does so it who is say that? that does is? anybody know who that is? That is Carl. <laughs> yeah, who, was, who, was he, to... who was he supposed to be? Put it that way. Anybody have a guess? Well, I read it in the URL, so okay, it doesn't she count. Just... She was fast. It's uh, Alan Hill Sr. Hill oh, Fox's wow. father. Wow. So it's Hill. Alan Hill's father. Hill Alan Hill Sr. Skipper, Skipper Sr. time traveler that came on that comet. Yep. And he's <laughs> oh he is responsible for all those people dying. This we could build a whole a... conspiracy theory just around Carl. Yep. There yeah. you go. And we have a video. So he was a he was There's an actor. There's people who believe it too. He was he's the of course. Father. That's the easiest part. Yeah. Susan, you, you said <laughs> Alan Hale Sr.? Yep. In other yep. words, uh, the, the Skipper's father. Yep. yep. He was an actor. He used to be with, um, uh, he used to, he did, he's a character actor and he did a lot of stuff. And he was in with, um, he played like second <laughs> with, to a ton of people Errol Flynn, Clark Gable, Cary Grant, Humphrey Bogart, Ronald Reagan, Douglas Fairbanks, James Cadney. He was, in he was number two to all those people. He, he auditioned for the Mr. Whipple and came in second. And then he played <laughs> his his son is Alan Hill Jr., who we know as the skipper from Gilligan's Island. And he was um, they were clones. They said they looked so much alike that people had a lot of trouble telling them apart when they were both alive. And Alan Hill Jr. stopped using Jr. whenever his father died. But they seemed like they were really interesting people. I didn't see any drama or anything in any of their Wikipedia pages. Mm -hmm. They're very pro. Al Alan Hill Jr.'s daughter is Lucy Hale. Who's that? Um, the she's uh, she was a child actress who's uh, oh god, no, I can't remember the name of the program, but. Uh, Anyways, she she does a lot of voiceover for Disney. So Alan Hill Jr. did an actually a ton of different things besides being the skipper. He was on a lot of shows. Harry and Mason. So that was, but we only know him really from the the famous one. But his father and he both did played the same part in uh, something. I can't remember what it was. Forty years apart from each other, but it seems wow. like an interesting thing. So anyway, that's Alan Hill and. Uh, it's obviously an ancestor of um, Carl with a K. Carl Hill. <laughs> Carl with a K L. <laughs> obviously. That seems so unlikely. I think time travel is more reasonable or something. <laughs> <laughs> but I saw that today and I said I had to share it with you guys. Okay. And then the other, only other thing really I got to share with you guys is this. This came out today. I shared it all over. I hope you guys read it. It was a lot of fun to do with Wendy. And it talks about a lot of stuff. It was Skeptic Camping with Friends of the Greater LA Area. Came out today. And it has, a. here's some people you might know. Look, there's Deborah. Um, more people you know down here. There's Jane. And then, oh, there's Jane again and Deborah. They look like they're dancing with their arms. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're being hypnotized oh was that it yeah they hadn't closed their eyes quite yet and then here's another and this is the woman who's from scientology you guys got to check out these talks all the links are she in was amazing 
If you don't watch anything else, watch her talk. Yeah. There's Adrian. Oh. Cookie stats. Laughing. She's hard to photograph because she was <laughs> laughing so much. And then this is Wendy's <laughs> section. So Wendy includes a whole section on how kind of what you do to oh, is this who's this? Robin? Robin's coming. Um, so one of the things that uh, Wendy does is she, she talks a lot about kind of how you do it. And I'm not kidding. We did this for Won't women Gail over um maybe scale. Yeah. It was that for women. Be. We did most of the work over over Facebook Messenger. I don't think we had one Zoom call. Hmm. I don't think we had one meeting and then and what I'm and uh I don't think we've had one Zoom call with the with the Raleigh people in North Carolina and the New Mexico people. We've had a bunch of Zoom calls. Well about five zoom calls and they're all under a half an hour and it's like boom you got it okay got it go <laughs> it's been so fun putting the these link, together the link is not open it is gail Hi. we were Yay! wondering where you were i fell asleep oh <laughs> well, that that Yay. makes sense well you I missed, was you missed. in my chair and i woke up five minutes ago you That's missed nice, toilet yeah. paper and then our second round was seconds, number two. Number twos. <laughs> the second thing. You'll have to watch the video. What did you say the first one was? Toilet paper. Toilet paper. paper. That's Mary what I did. thought you said. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we are some of the most informed people in the world. Okay. So, so Susan, that link is not working for me. Can someone else try it? The site seems to have be having an intermittent problem every every other day or so. I find out I can't get yeah. it. Yeah, it's not coming up. And every time I tell Barry, he says it's working for me, but like at some point, it's not. Yeah, it's not working. It's not working for me. No. Nope. My article's up because I had it here waiting to show you guys. So it's not. I haven't gone to the website for hours. Yeah, don't, don't, hit ref opening. don't hit refresh. I don't know what's going on with that web. They got some crappy server service. Two days. Uh, no, it's been, it's been like a week at least, or maybe more than that. Because every once in a while, I'll look to see if my article is up that I've been waiting for two weeks, and I get that message like not infrequently. Huh. And then I send an email to Barry, and whenever he checks it, no, it's working fine. So you know that, that doesn't fine. prove that you don't have a problem because when you clicked it, it worked. <laughs> I uh, it it's said the web guys are working on it. So you can't find you, out. Okay. I'll read it to you. No, I'm only kidding. All right. We're ready to go back. <laughs> Nothing else from anybody? Can I share my screen for, for 10 seconds? Okay. Show the saw the coolest yo-yo trick and I thought of Gail. Oh um, wow. It's called DNA. Ooh. Oh, oh that is cool, clever. huh? Do it one more time. Oh. Because that went fast. Wow. There's All a better right, one where a guy does three at a time, three euros. So cool. why is it called DNA? Because it makes a helix. Oh. Uh, no. Yeah, and is that a yo-yo or is that a, that a huh? It was a yo-yo with like a butterfly but he could put his finger in the middle and it spins on the end yeah i've never seen anything like that yeah That's it's pretty cool my cool. son showed me the other day we were talking about yo-yo tricks and he said oh look at this one and he showed me i, a trick I had one like pretty that. cool yeah i had that butterfly yo-yo at some People point are so clear that wasn't a normal butterfly it's shaped funny no it has like a a, a place to put your finger so it spins like a, a basketball kind of does you know yeah oh right right really interesting Okay. Are we ready? We're ready. Next up is Karen. Okay. The category is birthstones. And what you're going to do is you're going to match the numbered month to the lettered stone. I'm going to give you uh, A, B, C, D, et cetera, list of stones and January, February numbered months. And you're going to match them. There'll be a little bit of information to describe them as well. Uh, guess them all, but pick only 10 as your final answer. So there are 12. 
So pick the one, the 10 you're most sure of as your final answers. The American Gem Society was founded in 1934 and is a nonprofit trade association of fine jewelry professionals. The answers are from the AGS website because there is a little variation on this. It's a, you know, it's a promotional thing within the industry. So the, my source is the AGS website. Oh, very good. Yeah, I'm okay. wondering why nobody's done this before. It seems like this would be obvious. Okie dokie. So can I ask a question? Uh, let's, uh, you can let me do this and then I'll ask for questions. Okay. So, so, um, so uh, here is one through four. Let me, let me make sure it's all there. Okay. Oh. One through four. Uh, one is January and the stone der is derived from Latin granatum, which means seed. This gemstone's name is due to its uh, resemblance to pomegranate seeds. Two, February, derived from the ancient Greek word methutos, methustos, which means intoxicated. Ancient wearers <laughs> believed the gemstone would protect them from drunkenness. Ooh, three, three is this. March. The serenely colored stone invokes the tranquility of its namesake. For okay. April, it's the hardest gemstone, gemstone and is made of just one element. Okay. And then here's uh, five through eight. And five through eight. Let's try cutting and pasting once again. Cut. And paste number five, of course, is May, derived from the word smarad, smaragdus, which means green in Greek. Six is June, made by living creatures which deposit layers of calcium carbonate around microscopic irritants that get lodged in these particular critters. Number seven is July, the red variety of the mineral corundum, colored by the element chromium. Eight is August, widely, recon widely recognized by its brilliant lime green glow. The origin of this gemstone's name, however, is unclear. And I will give you a list of, of gemstones, and then I will ask for uh, questions. Uh, I will answer questions. Okay, nine through 12. Nine is September. While it typically refers to the rich blue gemstone gemstone blue gemstone variety of the mineral corundum, the corundum, this royal gemstone occurs in rainbow uh, in a rainbow of hues. Actually, ten is October. The name originates from the Greek word opalios, which meant to see a change in color. Eleven is November. Through much of history, all yellow gem gemstones were considered this name. And all of this type were thought to be solely yellow. It is, in fact, available in many colors, and it's not likely even related to the stones that were first donned with that name. Uh, 12, December. This exquisite blue-purple variety of the mineral uh, zoocyte is only found in one part of the world, named for its limited geographic origin. Oh. It has quickly risen to, the great, to great popularity since its relatively recent discovery. Okay. Now I'll give you the list and let me see if all 12 of these uh, will, will cut and paste. Did okay. you get a bonus point if you get more than 10? No. Okay. And here are, here are the ones you're matching the numbers with. A, amethyst. B, pearl. C, aquamarine. D, diamond. E, emerald. F, tanzanite. G, garnet. H, sapphire. Uh, I, Peridot, J, Opal, K, Ruby, L, Topaz. Do you have questions? Terrence. Well, it's pretty okay. straightforward. Yeah. Okay, great. Karen, you left out uh, tourmaline. I I did not leave it out. <laughs> it's not there. Because it's more, probably more than one. I don't get the joke. I'm sorry it's lost on me. Um, uh, okay, those are all the answers from which you may choose. And now I'm going to oh, break out rooms. Right, I'm gonna say for you real quick. Open all the rooms. Well, well done. Go have fun. Karen, the reason. Okay. 
Tourmaline is my birthstone. Uh, as I as I qualified at the beginning, this is according to the American Gemological Society. There is a variety depending on because, of course, this is not scientific data. This is an opinion of an organization promoting gemstones. Well done. Jeez. Jamie, you cool? Yep. He's being attacked okay. by his puppy, probably. Keep. I, I need to go, but I, I keep hanging on for a little while. A little while. <laughs> How long have you been over there, Jane? What? How long have you been there? Uh, I've been here for over a week. Oh, so you're adjusted to the time change. Her computer isn't. Yeah, I didn't change. I didn't change my computer. I haven't been in progress. Are you getting things done? <laughs> no, sort of. I know. <laughs> it looks like she's about to fall asleep right here now. Go. Wait, what's uh, your birthstone, Jane? Uh, I know. I know six of these, so that's good. So, um, my. My mine is number two, amethyst, and my daughter. I have my and one daughter is an amethyst. Also, one, another daughter is a number one, garnet. Number one is A. Uh, number one is garnet G. Garnet G. Okay, how did she want us to put the answers? I forgot. Just put, G. Um, put the letter. Put the letter, put the letter um, by the number there. Put the letter Maybe. number. Okay, like so. Two A and one, one G. One G. Yeah, that'd yeah. be good. But you could write two it out if you wanted to. Two. I don't know how to spell these dang things. Two is, two two and a, two is A, Amethyst. A. Three is. I don't know. Let's see, oh. four is four is D. Everybody knows that. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, and five see. is E. I, I'm assuming it's E because of the green. Yeah, M uh -huh. to the e. green. I'm guessing that. Yeah. Um, six is is um, what's pearls? Uh, blah, 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 B. Okay. E. Yeah, oh, and July seven is ruby. Where's where's the ruby on here? It's uh, K, because that's mine. I know that because it's mine. <laughs> yeah, and I yeah. Know number, I know number. Well, I won't skip ahead. Uh, no, you can skip ahead. It's fine. I know number nine is H sapphire because that belongs to another family member okay hey. um, that's all i know and 10 is uh j and it's j oh a. yeah like the moon let's, october let's keep going let's okay keep well going. i know mine mine is in august and it's pure august. dot it's not a very attractive color sorry I don't know what that uh, is. Uh, it's a light green. I don't Parad think it's it's not really pretty. So it would be peridot. Peridot. I, peridot? I don't know how to pronounce it. Peridot. It's, it's just French. not pretty. Which number is that? A August. Uh, August. I. I. Yeah. So, okay, and then where are uh, we at? We have all except uh, for eleven. 11. 11 and 12. Okay, oh, one of them is topaz. It's um did we get three? I think 11 is topaz. Three? Yeah, we got oh, we didn't get three. Well, there's some we, we have to not get two, remember? Yeah. And you might want to remove what we from the list there, Vincent. Take out the ones we haven't, you know, take them out so we can see what's left over. Oh. All right, so G. Next. And A, G, I'll just strike them out. Strike out E. Oh, did we get A? Did yes. we use A? Yeah, A was two. 
It looks like we have left aquamarine, yeah. topaz. So we used pearl? Yeah. Yes. We have aquamarine, tanzanite. Wait, did we use pearl? Okay. Which one's pearl? Pearl is, um, what number is pearl? Is the one with the deposit, the thing around the thing? Six. Yeah, six. The thing with yeah. the thing and the thing. The and thing with the thing. So helpful. Uh, we didn't use aquamarine. Right, we? but we did. We did use. So we could we could tell by the descriptions though for these. Um, yeah. So we used diamond. So we can cross that one. Yeah, that's April. Yeah, and we used opal, which is J. You can cross that off, and K. And I. Yeah. Uh, I. Oh, yep. Yeah, that's right. Um, and, and K. Vincent, did you say what your birthstone is? Uh, I'm diamond. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, so I think topaz. Let me look at this again. The, oh, I need to strike out one. One other one. Did we use E? Yes, oh, we did. C? Mm -hmm. e, oh, e, e emerald, yes, we did. Emerald, okay. I don't know what tanzanite is. Does anybody know what that is? Is that like tiger's eye? I have no idea. So we just have uh, topaz and aquamarine. And tanzanite. And where's tanzanite? Okay, did we use sapphire? Yes. Oh, we can use F. Oh, did we sapphire use sapphire? Is... Sapphire is September. Oh, yeah, that makes sense because it does come in different colors. Oh, I didn't know it said that. I didn't know mm -hmm. it. Comes I think it can color. come in reds and, and you know, burgundies and, and all kinds of colors. I didn't know that. Yeah, I thought it yeah. I've color. heard that summer. I think I've heard that, too. Um, OK, so we don't have March. We, we don't, don't have, have November March. and December. December. How can we have what? One, two, three, four. Five, yeah, that's right. Eight, is nine, it possible nine, that uh, topaz, aquamarine, no. and tanzanite? Is it possible uh, that that November is is the topaz one? Aqua aquamarine is blue. Yeah, aquamarine is blue, and topaz is, is, is topaz blue? No, it's topaz yellow. Is not blue. Yeah, I think it's kind of yellow and it's like topaz. yellow and brown and. Yeah, I think that she said 11. Didn't she say 11 is yellow? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I think that's it. Oh, okay. okay. All right. And I think December might be the yellow. aquamarine. I don't have any of those birth dates. Which, like, number three, you mean? Yeah. Um, no, 12 uh, is, I think, aquamarine. Uh, see. Well, see. Um, oh, yeah, I think you might be right. And then the only one that's left over is that one we don't we've never heard of before. <laughs> November. I put November. What did, we, what did we put for three? So tanzanite. Three. Oh. The serenely uh -huh. colored, the tranquility. Tanzanite. I guess that kind of sounds zony like Tans it. Tanzanite. Sure. F. We'll put three for F. We never really did it. I think things. actually that I think March actually is is aquamarine. You think? Just because of the name, but I don't know. I don't. I honestly don't know. Okay, we better decide, you guys. How are we going to decide, Karen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, twelve is F because it's probably in Tanzania, and it's like the name for us. Wait, yeah. twelve. Twelve is F then. Oh, uh -huh. yeah, and then okay. um, three is C. Remember, 12 is named for its uh, limited geographic origin. Okay. That makes sense. Now, we got to pick 10. You guys hurry up. Which two do we not want? The last two we did? Well, why don't we just pick the 12 and then... We can't. We, we have 10. to pick the 10. Oh, okay. So let's pick the well, last two that we didn't do, that we just did, C and 12. Okay. And not be, 3 and 12 not being March and December are not ours. Agree. Okay. Okay, that sounds. I, good. I'm sure we got yeah. them right, but we got to pick. Yeah, I think we, I think we have all of them right, but you know. Uh -huh. So which which one did you want to? So three, we're going to take three out. three and twelve. We're not. Yeah, gonna yeah just just put like a little cross through that one at the twelve and three. 
like through through the word March and the word December and just kind of do like he did the cross the strike through right there. Okay. Yeah. I will do that. Yeah. I hope and everybody remember to do that, Karen. We'll have to pick that up, Leonard, on the, on our next uh, breakout room. Welcome back, everyone. That and, was fun. Uh, there were 12 answers, and you were to pick the 10 you were most sure of. So um, I trust everybody did that. No one's panicking or waving at me. So that's good. <laughs> so here I we mean, go. I could if you really wanted me to. So here we go. And as I said, these are according to the uh, American Gem Society. These are not some ultimate truths, right? These are promotional materials by a variety of people. Probably, you know, that's why there's a variety because this this uh, push pushes sales for for these things. Um, so there is some variety depending whose list you're looking at, but. Um, I'm going to read them real quick and then I'm going to, and then I'm going to post it. I'm going to say it real quick once, then I'll post the names and everything. One is G, two is A, three is C, four is D, five is E, six is B, seven is K, eight is I, nine is H, 10 is J, 11 is L, 12 is F. Now I'm putting it here. One is G, garnet, right? The pomegranate seed. It's that deep, rich red color. Two is amethyst, which is purple, of course. Uh, three is C uh, for March, aquamarine, but also bloodstone for some reason. D is diamond, of course, number four with carbon. Uh, five is E, beautiful, deep green, emerald green. Six is B, a pearl, but also they're saying alexandrite and moonstone, but that wasn't a choice. Pearl is the correct answer. Seven is uh, ruby. Uh, eight is I, peridot, uh, also uh, sardonyx, which I have no idea what it is, and spi spinel. I don't know what that is. I am August, and I've never heard of any of those three things. So yeah, clearly eight. no one has ever gotten me a gemstone. Nine, <laughs> Nine is sapphire. Uh, a, a what, what's sapphire. your favorite ring, uh, Rob? Yeah, a blue sapphire, even blue though it ring. can be in different colors. Ten is opal. Or uh, tourmaline. Eleven, uh, <laughs> the answer is opal. Uh, 11 is topaz or citrine, uh, according to this list. 12 is tanzanite, which you figured because of the region. Also zircon and turquoise. Now, a question came up. Uh, how new is uh, tanzanite? The late 60s, I think 67 or 68, they discovered this. It mm. only is mined within a four mile by a mile and a half area. And it's this beautiful uh, blue uh, purple color. And uh, the change to their official list, I think the last one was made in 2002. Now, I never, uh, I don't think I've ever shared a screen before, but I'm going to share a screen right now for you. Woo. There we go. January, there's Ooh. Garnet. Oh, look how beautiful. And amethyst, Aquamarine for March, Diamond for April. I don't know why it's so popular. It's not the prettiest of the gems. May is emerald, June, a beautiful pearl. They can also be lumpy, right? They call them freshwater pearls, but they can be lumpy as well. July, there's a ruby red. August is peridot, which is one of my favorites. September, sapphire. October, opal. And no uh, November, topaz, which actually comes in a variety of colors. And the uh, tanzanite there. Okay. Oh, opal, opal is mine since I'm an October birth, and I always thought it was very special because of all those different colors. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Okay, great. Let's hear the scores. Okay. That was really uh, good, Karen. I'm really Karen, excited to be uh, done that uh, Let's lumpy, hear the scores. Lumpy pearls are called Baroque pearls. Let's hear the scores. <laughs> <laughs> Moving along. <laughs> Karen's the melt. All right. Uh, we love Karen so much. I do. All right, so let's go with according to the Dow. Yes, we are better off than we were four years ago. Ten. Ten. Changes in latitude, changes in attitude, Aurora Borealis, top the charts. We actually got a 10. Mm -hmm. Yes, we did. We did. Biden Trump debate venue, Riker Sing Sung, Sing Sing or Leavenworth? <laughs> Sing Sing. Keeping, keeping the streak alive, 10. Okay, both the sun and Trump's surrogates won't stop spewing. 
Ten. Yay! Oh. And born in the rubble. One. <laughs> With a zero, right? Ten, ten, ten. Oh, oh you all are, are wonderful. Yeah, that was, that, you. Was that was so what's fun. So it's the average. <laughs> well, let me do the math. No, I'm it's a finish. Finish. nine point nine 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 nine. Oh, nine. I'm gonna give you the. I'm gonna give you the link if you if you want to yeah. read more about any of those gemstones. If you click on it, the, the it'll tell you the history. It'll describe the other items and a oh, uh, li little topic. more, little more about them. That was good. Hmm? So yeah. it's a it's really quick. Claire, and I was starting to tell the story when, when our room got cut off about how my, my sister-in-law's last name is Stone, S-T-O-N-E. And um they um my 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 brother and and, and sister-in-law um adopted a little lap dog for um my sister-in-law's mother as she was getting very very old for comfort, a little lap dog. And uh, and the, the dog was never officially named, but uh, the old woman just called it Precious. You know, here, Precious, come here, Precious, or whatever. So one time they had to take the dog to a vet. You know, and they asked, you know, the name of the. Oh. And so it got on it on officially on it on its medical chart. It's Precious Stone. <laughs> <laughs> Real story. That's cute. Sounds Aww. cute. Middle name should be Jim. My precious. Yes. My precious. <laughs> precious. Well, precious. Yeah. Her, you know, precious, precious's mama um did pass away. And my, my <laughs> brother and sister-in-law kept her for a while and they just they just called her little dog. But anyway, and then and then she also passed away. So Jewel Creek runs through our farm. And so my the my sister's first golden retriever was Pebble. And then after that, each of the puppies that she kept had gem names. She had, I had golden bits of memory, but um, she had opal and I can't remember, but that was just the theme for the dog's names. There's a lot of old people's, you know, names of people, the family would name their daughters all after stones. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. That was a traditional was a thing before. for a while. Yeah, yeah it was a right. thing for a bit. Rob, yep. I'm up. All right. Up. So <laughs> this category is a repeat, sort of, of one I've previously done way back in January. And the range there was from six to 10. So we'll see how it goes this time. This is uh, more spelling bee. Correctly spell these awkward words. Mm. But I knew that when I saw your letter background. <laughs> oh my God. All right. So I'm going to say the word and not put it in, in the, the chat because that would. I better get a pencil and paper. You better have. We're in the game, but you got to write this down. I'm going to give you the def. You know, I will read the definition and the word, but I'm not going to paste in the word. Number one is a uh, spell. The word correctly, which means to accept something reluctantly but without protest. Acquiesce. Number two is spell the word correctly, which is the biblically prophesied location of a gathering of armies for a battle during the end times. The term is also used in a generic sense to refer to any end of the world scenario. I'll bet you know what that word is. Can I use word? No. <laughs> Armageddon. Because <laughs> I can spell them all. <laughs> Armageddon, number three. Spell the word correctly, which means nonsense, sounds, or writing, which is gibberish. Oh. Number four is spell the word correctly, which means an extremely confused, complicated, or embarrassing situation that is embrolio. What? Embrolio. Number five is spell the word correctly, which means able to, or tending to cause annoyance, trouble, or even a minor injury. Um, mischievous. Oh. There are two two valid spellings for that. Or give me either one. Number six. 
spell the word correctly, which means to be extremely self-centered with an exaggerated self of sense of self-importance. Like oh, who know. might that be? Narcissistic. Number seven. T R U M P. Spell the word correctly, which means a mixture of dried petals and spices placed in a bowl to perfume a room, or just a mixture of things. Potpourri. 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 Number eight. Spell the word correctly, which means a gross irreverence towards a hollowed person, place, or thing. Sacrilege. Oh, like your hollow. Hollow. Sacrilege. <laughs> Sacrilege. Ooh. Number nine, spell the word correctly, which means either of the two positions, conjunction or opposition of a celestial body when sun, earth, and the other body line a straight line. Also in psychology, the term refers to a state of balance or union between opposing forces or elements. And I only know this word because it was uh, used in Three Body Problem, the Netflix show, Sisergy. Oh. I'm, you glad, that I'm glad that Leonard is on my team. And you shouldn't pronounce it like uh, Susan. Yeah. <laughs> I, I spell agree. right. I do right. I got it. I got it. The last one should be Washington. Spell <laughs> the word correctly, which means a usually cylindrical dark green summer squash, which is zucchini. <laughs> and that's it. Oh. Go to your room. Missed one. Okay. Oh, it's embarrassing to look at my list. <laughs> I, I mean, know. I'm going. I I have. I'm the worst speller in the world. I've everything misspelled. Everything is misspelled on here. I attempted it, but no way. Leonard, you're you're muted, Leonard. There's no R in it. It's sisergy, not sisergy. Ah, okay. Okay. Well, since. Rob isn't part of our group now. I'll share my screen if you'd like. Okay, okay. I, I have everything misspelled. Every every darn word here is misspelled. <laughs> <laughs> I'm consistent. And you got it set so that she doesn't have like the squiggly lines, right? Yeah. Well, I don't know what like program what? this is. You got to have your okay. spell check turned oh, on. This is Word. Well, so it's going to do a spell check, so we'll know what's wrong. So just tell yeah, me. Yeah, so you should you should turn on. off. You should not use Word. Can't use okay. Word. Well, I don't. Use I don't can, that's the one I how about note? Put it in. Um, you can use Notepad. But I have it all in Word already. How do I switch it? Yes, copy, um, and, paste. copy, copy and, and paste. Copy and paste. All right. Yeah, because otherwise we're gonna. It's yeah, not, so you're right. It'll tell. It'll say that. Okay, so I copied. <laughs> now, what do I do to get it into? Um, open, open up notebook? Notepad. I I've never used Notepad. Okay, so go to your, uh, go to your um, uh, your the bottom of the screen and type in Notepad. Search. And you're going to have to close this. That's Notepad, so I should be able to just type it in, paste it in you there. Paste it, paste it in. Yep. Right, and you're going to have to close your screen. You're going to have to stop the share and open with that uh, right. with that window. Yep. We learn so many things in this group. No, I hey, the that, that's the wrong screen. That's the right screen. Right. How do we make them bigger and so you can all see them? Aren't you on well, a, is that word? I can't. I can't see them. You're back oh, on word. I have to, you're I, you're on word. To, it went back to word, and I just changed it again. <laughs> so. Share screen again. How do you increase things in Notepad? There you uh, go. View. View. What? View. View. I don't know what that means. 
V I E on, on the screen it says view. Oh, view up here. Okay. Yeah. Click on that. Up. Oh. And there should be a zoom. Zoom. So control plus. Control. Plus sign? Yeah. Very good. And then just take and make the sentence shorter. Oh, no, you did it. Very good. Okay. Gail has a new skill. Yeah. It's one of the things I love about being here. Okay, so Acu Acu how do you spell it? Ac Acquiesce. Acquiesce. I don't know. A C Q U I E S C E. Yeah, that looks right. Yeah, that looks A C good. Q U I I E S S S C E. Okay. Armageddon's the next word. Yeah, well that's that's just A R O A R M A G E D D O N. D D O N. Two D's. Yeah. Armo G, G E, the no, one G. Oh, one G E. One G E O N. E D D O N. D D O N. O M. O N. Got a P. Oh yeah, that's a typo. And an yeah. N, not an N, and not an M. There you go. Yeah. Armageddon. Okay. Yeah. Third like word the movie. gibberish. Gibberish. G I B E R I S. Two B's. Oh, G I B, two B's, gibberish. Yeah. yeah, two B's. Let me. Yep, that's good. Confused. What was number four? Um, imbroglio. Oh yeah, imbroglio. Yeah, it's Italian, so it's I am. Imbroglio, really? Yeah. B R O G L I O. G L G L yep. I O. They just switch the I and the L. Yeah. L I O. Yep. Oh yeah, that looks better. Well, that looks looks. Okay, five is mischievous. Mischievous. M I S C H. E V I O U S. I think it was two right? spellings with and without the I. Mischievous. Yeah, but yeah mischievous. That's it's good. You want it with or without the I? Hey, well, it's it looks like it's spell check. Uh oh. Well, yeah, I think you it's have both, both are on. correct. People say mischievous because there's an I in there, but it's so people are starting to drop it. So I think it should be mischievous. Yeah, take out the I. Mischievous. Yeah, that's the way we're saying it now. But oh, I think it originally had the I. Mischievous? Yeah. yeah. So anyway, um, narcissistic, um, spelled T R U M B. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Kevin, already tried that one. Yeah. C I S S I S T I C. S T I C right narcissistic narcissist yep and potpourri yeah P O T dash P O U R I I said dash yeah. there's no dash in potpourri yeah yeah I there think is, it can there be is way because it's one yeah. word yeah right. that looks good oh is there is there a dash? Um, I always put a dash in. Well, ah, we're cheating. I well, I'm not. I'm not using it. I see it's coming up, but I'm not using it. I think that it's probably originally like that, but I think it's now like that. I've never seen it hyphenated. Yeah, I think, sure. I think it used to be, but it's not anymore. You sure it's O U R I? O oh, Um not not absolutely 
Let's see. I want to see what it looks like with the. I'm, I'm not looking. I see. Oh yeah, no, that doesn't look right. That doesn't no. look right at all. No. Although it's telling us that we're wrong, we'll see. Mm. Um, then sacrilege. Yeah, S A C R I L E D G E I D G E sacrilege. Yeah, sacrilege. Yeah. And number nine yep. is S Y Z Y G Y. I do. It's I have the never original that company word. name, the original I... company name for Atari. Oh, interesting. Ah, no wonder you know it because, you know, my doctor's in psychology and I never heard that word before. Can you say it again? Zucchini. Zucchini. Hmm. Okay, I thought so, I spelled it's... zucchini right. Z U C. <laughs> Two I think it's right? two C's. Two C C C C I A N I N I N I doesn't look right. N I that doesn't look right. That doesn't look right. Can't move two N's my... Z U C C I N N I? Damn it. N N I yeah. Zucchini. There's an H in there. It doesn't look like, yeah, yeah it doesn't I think look you're right. Well. There's an H in there. Where's the H? Um, CCH. So is it two N's yeah, or that's one? Better. one N? Now, are there two N's or one? One. 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 That looks, yeah, that looks much better. decent. They don't call it zucchini here. There's another name for it. I got um, squash, summer squash. No, there's an odd name. The French don't call it. They also call it different. There's okay, Sharon. Yeah, it's known by something different here. Okay. So the only one is potpourri, but, but it looks it looks correct. It does look correct. P-O-T-P-O-U-R-I. It looks okay. Yeah, I've never, I don't think I've ever seen it with a hyphen. It's got it underlined. Sure. We must have it wrong. Well, it might yeah. be because no, it capitalized it. Maybe. Are you sure that sacrilege? Sacrilege has an E. L E. L E D G E. Sacrilege is it doesn't it doesn't look right. No, it doesn't. Sacrilege R E. No, that's not right. No, I think it, it, it that's the that's a that's an I. I don't think maybe there's no D. Maybe there's no D. No. No, it's got oh, a D. Maybe not. It liked it better without a D. I, I <laughs> like I the D. Like Pick, hurry. Sacrilege. Kevin, yes. what the hell is that on your screen? It's a self portrait. Oh. Oh, that. <laughs> you type in glamour in that's your name. Had, that's what he had hair on his head. No, you, you type in glamour and your name, and that's the kind of stuff that comes up. So I did like glamour Kevin, and that's what popped up <laughs> on Google. So all of a sudden, it's AI stuff. Why no. would you want to? This is old. This is old. You just oh, Google, old? do a search for like glamour Susan. You'll come up with some crazy photos. Oh, I'm crazy enough. Okay. Would you guys? You might be you the did. one who's there. I think you did. How do you think you did this time? <laughs> You're going to get a better. Pretty better good. Time? Yeah, we, we got did. It. We did okay. Yeah, okay. I think I think we got a ten out of ten. Whoa. I think I think we'll get seven. Okay. I would appreciate it if you put conscience on here so I could say con science because that's hard to spell it. <laughs> okay. Now, are the Canadians well, going to get it right if they have extra use? No. Hey, are you saying that science is a con? Uh, Only in that definition. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Is that Roger Moore's spelling bee? I was yeah. going to say, that's a crazy way to spell more. <laughs> He's being funny. It's more rag. spelling bee. There you go. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Number one. Did anybody that spell is... it like that? Acquiesce. Oh, no. no. It's like that. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. You bastard. We oh, you're yes. being mean. 
Number two is not yes. like that. It is like is. that. Oh, right. I like your. I'm gonna have you do my, um, my screenshots. Wordle. Uh, I learned this from Adrian about a year ago, and I love it. Number three, gibberish is not spelled that way. It is spelled with two B's. Yeah. You have to tell me how you're doing that, Rob. I love it. Imbroglio is it's Italian. That so way, there's a G yes. in there. Uh, Silent G. Mischievous is uh, that way. Did Bill want to spell it a second way? Because so I many it up. damn vowels in that. Look at I that. I looked it up, and the one with the I, it says, is incorrect. People yep, use it all the time. There is no word mischievous. Number six. <laughs> mischievous. Narcissistic. Uh, we had a lot of S's. Narc. Narc. It's that way. Ah. Narcissist. Well, goodness. Seven. Popori. I could never spell it. <laughs> Popori. Uh, two oh, R's. Oh, oh R's. two oh. R's. That's why it looks. Uh, I told you there's no dash. Sacrilege. I saw some people getting this oh. one wrong. There's no D. That way. Sacrilege. Oh, I take the D out. Sacrilegious. Uh -huh. So here, here's the one that. that wow. One. I'll let Leonard pronounce it because uh, it's a nice <laughs> How do you say, how do you say that? It is. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Right. Thanks, Kevin. That doesn't what look does like it, it should be an English word. Sorry. It, oh, there's no vowels in the Y's. Rob knew I would know that one because that is the original name that uh, Atari had before oh. it was oh, yeah. actually named. They need nobody to be able to spell it. It needs to borrow. It needs to borrow vowels. It needs yes. to borrow vowels from And the one with a lot of vowels in it. Zucchini. And the letter H. Zucchini. Zucchini. Zucchini is a bathing suit worn by animals at the zoo. I thought that's what the sand people said in the start. Okay, so I'm putting the answers in the chat for Susan. I want to know how to do that that Zoom thing you did. Oh, it's it's just part of animation. I want to know how you did. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Wendy. We're all we're at the end of round four. We're about to do our score. So you can hey, Wendy. Hey. Okay. Wendy, Mister Toilet. Welcome home, Wendy. How are you doing, Vincent? <laughs> Pardon me. How are you doing? Oh, I'm doing okay. He's been doing really good. I oh. got uh, I got uh, my doctor today to say hey. We're going to put you in for more tests. Mm. Well, terrific. All right. So I just want to remind everybody before I go to scores that I still need one more category tomorrow, um, next week, and a bonus. I have Jamie, Celia, and Vincent. I'll do a bonus. Okay. I could probably scrape together a round. Okay, Carl. I'm willing to do a category. Okay, well, I've got it filled. Uh, okay, I... good. All right, so. Do you have, do you have the following week filled? I have three of them, so I'm not too worried. It'll be all right. Oh, my God. Okay. Yes. Fairly well. You guys yeah. come through. You guys always come through for me. Don't worry about it. I'm not too worried about it. I could probably start the, start the categories and say, all right, we have nothing for tonight, so who's going to do it? <laughs> I'm I'm gonna say good night. I had fun. Goodbye. Night, night, Jane. Jane. Good to see you, Jane. Jane. Take care. Jane. I'll Jane, give you got, got, I'll send you Jane, Jane, we got nine. Jane's gone. Okay. So nine. Well, she's gone. Changes in latitude. Changes in attitude. Nine, huh? Yep. Are you putting it up on the screen or am I missing it? Nine. We That's didn't perfect. get synergy or imbriglio. Hmm. Uh, Embry. Yeah, that's no, no, because we spelled it with an e. I thought we had seven. Actually. Yeah, we have seven, and we and potpourri. Didn't we make a mistake on potpourri? Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Never mind, so Susan. Just do your thing, Susan. <laughs> Susan, okay, well, are you the first? Are you one. sharing the the score sheet? Yeah. Yes, yes she is. is. Okay, I'm I don't sorry. know why I'm they're arguing know. about their score. No, no, Susan, just do your thing. Erase the nine and do your thing, please. We just wanted Jane to know before she left. Okay. Yeah. Changes in latitude, changes in attitude. Aurora Borealis topped the charts. 
That's the team that just uh, was arguing about their score. Nine. <laughs> I think we had seven. 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 <laughs> okay. All right. According to the Dow, yes, we are better off than we were four years ago. Nine. They yeah. got the nine. Which one yes, did you miss? We got the nine. Um, we spelled and brew. We spelled it with an I instead of an E. All right, Biden Trump debate venue. Riker, Sing Sing, or Love yeah, We spelled it with an E instead of an I. Or that's what I meant. Yeah, sorry. I was looking at what I pasted from his thing. And we got a ten. Would you like a treat? <laughs> yeah, treats good. Yes, treats. Both the sun no and thugs. Trump surrogates no won't treats stop for screaming. all. We had nine. Bring on the rumble, the rambling, red-headed, orange-faced responses to Biden's challenge. Nine. They better not have the debate on a Thursday. I'm just saying. Good right, job. 9.9, 8.8, Rob. You better not do it in Boston. You need harder words. Those are pretty hard. You know why you don't do it in Boston? Why? Because it would be a mass debate. Oh, oh. Oh, God. I don't get it. Uh, oh, my God. And you were in Massachusetts. Susan. Oh, Massachusetts. That's the whole reason why they closed the portal between Ireland and New York or wherever it was. <laughs> okay, oh, bonus. That word? bonus. I don't get it. You'll, we'll explain later. Boston, Mass Massachusetts. They call Mass. When you're, when you're older. Debate, oh, oh, debate. oh, I get it. I'm not for the East Coast. I don't know these things. Mm -hmm. right. <laughs> Carl. All right. Apparently so, you've got the you've got the bonus. Yep. Uh I was gonna write a different one for this week, but I didn't have time. I had too much stuff going on, but I luckily I had one in reserve, but it might might be a little tough. But presidents on the level. And now I will paste in the description of what that means. Call us. Ooh. Name any ten of the fourteen U.S. presidents who have been Freemasons. Oh, jeez! Oh, God, full members of their lodge, not just initiates and not honorary. It's mostly a guessing game. I don't like it, but well, we know we, you it, should know at least one or two of these. Good. I like hard questions. We need. I knew you hard. would. All but I know is now this uh, one's out of the way, and you'll never have to do it again after this week. No, this is fine. Where, I'll be where, fine. where are the is the declar uh, Declaration of Independence during all this? That's what I want to know. It's undeclared. Yeah. Okay. Uh, open all rooms. Boom. This might separate us. Finally, and Wendy is going to go on Team Three. Okay. Three. Hey. Sarky. Washington? Hey. I wasn't hey. here with me. Do Freemasons even still exist? Yeah. Oh, yes, they do. Oh, yeah. And what do they what do they actually do? I don't know, but I think they, 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 they wear a funny hats. Yeah, <laughs> they secretly control the world. And they have like meetings, and then they know how to go from the past, from the future to the past, from the present to the past, so you can change the future. Charles, a Freemason. That's why he was able to look like. Well, you remember that that movie, Peggy Sue Got Married. Mm -hmm. I like that one. Her grandfather was Freemason. Mm. Freemasons could send her back. To the past, so she could change her future or something like that. Yeah, and they wore those hats. Yeah, a fez. Okay, so which presidents were fezes? <laughs> okay, John George Washington. I was going to say Washington is the only one I could really. Be okay, sure. Washington for sure. Adams, uh, the first one. Um, Adams sounds Jefferson like was, was wasn't he? Probably both Adams. Yeah. If, and what was this? There were 14 in total. And we need to come up with 10. 14. Well, there was it was like a, um the boys special boys club. And club stuff. Yeah, yeah. Sense. The boys club of their era. Mm. So it was probably probably the first 10 presidents. <laughs> I wouldn't think I wouldn't I wouldn't be shocked. Let me see. Lincoln was not. 
So James Monroe. Oh yeah, Monroe makes sense. Probably Jackson and Polk. You think Jackson? Yeah, he was one of that group. How about um, Taft? He's a lot later, but McKinley. Both Roosevelts. Probably Taft. Wait, both of them? Both Roosevelts? Yeah. Franklin too? Oh yeah. If you've uh ever watched the Curse of Oak Island, you know that uh, Need one more. Truman. He seems so. I don't know. Truman is a Mason. Yeah. Well, that's what I thought about Franklin Roosevelt. It just didn't seem right. And Ger Gerald Ford. Well, we've got eleven. We get. We can't keep going. Well. Well, they're fourteen apparently. Okay, so we have Washington, Jefferson, Adams, both of them, Quincy and his, and the other one, Monroe, McKinley, Teddy Roosevelt. FDR, Taft, and Truman. I'm not so sure about the Adamses. Okay, let's take the Adams off since we have extras and let's add on who? Um, McKinley, do we have him? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Harding. Okay. You said one more, not a Bush, was it? No, uh, Ford. Ford. Ford was a Mason, huh? Yeah. Hmm. Got it. Okay, that was easy. So I uh, what do they do now? Is it just fun? Do they fundraise? Is it just a, a like a thing to that's what like I was wondering? What, what, what do they, they do? I think they do a lot of community work. Yeah, they do community work. Yeah, the the it's still men only, right? Uh, they probably have a woman's auxiliary or something. Yeah, the, uh, the. And do you have to a certain lineage? I mean, like, I don't think no. so. You know, you have to be like, appointed or you like. You just have to be nominated by somebody who's high up. But what's the criteria? Actually, I don't know, but I had a parolee really? who was black. And he was part of Freemasons. Uh -huh. So um, it could be, I guess, the. Any chapter, any kind of chapter can be started. It's not necessarily based on lineage or, or race or anything like that. Well, I'm sure it's just recently they've allowed. Um, it may have been, and, and it just may be one that that was all black. I wonder if they allow trans people in. <laughs> I don't know, but this this parolee was a sex offender. That might be pushing it. And, and he was a Freemason, so. Well, if a woman becomes male or a male becomes female, can they kick him out? They haven't got those bylaws written, I bet. <laughs> well, they probably have them because they probably didn't think they would ever deal with that. They probably just recently put him on. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they were a little, they were a little emblem like on their keychain or like they have a little pin. They don't lay bricks anymore, I don't think. Oh, <laughs> no. I think they should be uh, forced to learn Mason. But the, the pearly that was on my case of that was a Freemason, he had this big chart in his living room of, of the different um, positions of Freemasons. Hmm. Yeah. They memorize things. They have special parties besides they wear hats. And, and meetings. They, they have them readings. I think they do a lot of meetings and they have a lot of symbols and it's a, it's a, I think. That may have been what he was doing, the different levels, I think, maybe mm -hmm. some stuff like that. It's kind of just an organization that allows people to, like a, like a good old boys club, not a good old boys club. Yeah, just, yeah, just a group. You just hire sure. into that, you it's hire those people. For the Illuminati. You network, you network <laughs> within that group. Yeah. And I think there's been so a lot Carl, of Carl, are you a Mason? No. So it's it's like a fraternity. Kinda. Except bigger, I guess. I guess maybe like one of the huge fraternities, except those are college related. 
These are well. There's the, they're non college the, communities. There's the youth uh, DMLA. There's the youth uh, Masons, and Bill Clinton was one of them. Hmm. Sounds like Bill knows a little bit about this subject. Uh, yeah, we're all done. Yeah. But um, we were all we did, Carl, is we picked people who look good in fezes. Okay. <laughs> That's all we did. And I think I think Bill did good. Bill Bill picked men with with fezes. <laughs> Probably enough time. <laughs> this team did really well, didn't you? What is your score? You're at the top, aren't you? 34 D. I don't know. Well, it wasn't thanks to me. I'm the worst speller in the <laughs> world and Oh my I gosh. I only knew my own birthstone. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think I think as a society they're saying that our spelling is getting worse because we all rely on spell Oh time. yeah. Yeah. But, I would agree with that. And also a lot of text any people just use the shortened version of the word right. or right. Uh, the right. and the words. You, you can tell the baby boomers on Facebook because they're the only ones that use correct grammar. Mm. <laughs> or try to yeah i know it's hard for me in typing i always forget something i just i hate that 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 spell check that just puts out the completely wrong word oh yeah the new apple spell yeah, you can turn the yeah. you can turn that off you guys mm -hmm. oh sometimes i like it that sometimes if you just start to spell a word get one thing wrong it, it changes the into something completely you different. know i wish it were a spell suggestion not a, a not mm -hmm. a correction right. you know right. so if you were starting to do it wrong and it just came up with and as an option click on if this is the word you're trying you know to i do. think that's what they but, used to do it used to be that but way this, but now but it's automatically thing. changing it garbage is yeah just, well i used to do the automatic changing more than it does now now uh it will make a suggestion, and if you hit a space or whatever, uh, I know, it'll, I, it'll take that suggestion. I still, I still disagree still, with you there, Bill. Still, I think it does. It does the suggest. It does the correction automatically. Okay, well done, category Carl. Or All right. should we call you? So first, yeah. first I will do a a brief video. So if you could pause the recording, Zoom recording. That was hilarious, you guys. You should have been here. Here comes the list of answers. Number one, George Washington. Number okay. two, James Monroe. Three, mm. Andrew Jackson. Four, James yeah. K. Polk. Five, yeah. Jack Buchanan. Six, Andrew Johnson. Seven, James Garfield, my favorite cat. I said Eight, that. William McKinley. Nine, Theodore Roosevelt. Ten, William H. Taft. Eleven, Warren G. Harding. Twelve, Franklin D. Roosevelt. Thirteen, Harry S. Truman. And most recently, Gerald Ford. <laughs> Good job, Bill. <laughs> um, Carl, I, I think I'm missing hmm. something hey, here God. that maybe other people know. How would we even, since there are secret societies like Kiwanis, elks, and stuff. How would we even they're, know if they were? They're, they're not secret. The, it's they're not secret. Which president? Carl, uh, but that's the thing. Explain to me. Well, one thing you can look up the Wikipedia article. <laughs> I know, <laughs> but I thought the whole point of these is like it it's just a club. Be, but not people no, nope, no, it's not. My grandfather. I, I know. I'm asking Carl to explain <laughs> to me, Faith. <laughs> So I'm missing something about Freemasons that I don't know. Well, they're not so this, secret anymore. Yeah. No, no, Joel. They're, they're just a society like Kiwanis and Elks and all the rest of them. My right, father but they don't, the secret isn't about being a member. The secret is about what you do as a member and what the mm -hmm. member rituals are. Right. Ah, yeah. so they it's put not, it like, it's not free anymore. You pay dues. Okay, so no gals, right? <laughs> public information that your members of these organizations are well known information. Yeah, my, my father in law, I didn't know that. Yeah, my father in law is Freemason. Many of their biographies. Mm -hmm. I've learned something. 
Yeah. But that doesn't mean that everybody, in, I mean, they don't publicize their list yeah. of people who are currently members, I think, probably yeah. not. Yeah. I no, would, I would they, imagine they don't the, talk, they don't the talk most well-known of these would be George Washington. Yeah. Right. And like I was pointing out in our group, most Freemasons are deists, and my grandfather was one. And one of the <laughs> I remember is we never had a conversation about religion because that was just you didn't talk about your personal faith with other people. That was part of one of like it was a requirement to have a belief in a higher power to be a Freemason, but you did not talk about that with other people. Hmm. It's like uh, Fight Club. Um, it was Ben Franklin was a uh, Freemason, yeah. wasn't he? Yeah. Yeah, and he was not the president though. Yeah. Right. Did they, did and, they, and they end up they, going to? Did they do church? Like, yeah, they were Presbyterian. Oh, like, we went to church, but I never, never really was told like you have to believe in Jesus Christ. You have to do all this other stuff. Like, there was Bibles and things, but it was just this. It was we just never had a real heart to heart talk about anything like that because he's like that's it's your own personal belief system. So it was like a low. It Love. was very low key. Like there was religious symbols and stuff in the house, but it wasn't yeah, like definitely believe they prayed over dinner for major holidays, but there was nothing you're going to hell and damnation for anything. It was always, you need to be a good person. And this is what I do to be a good person and keeping it completely like separated from any type of religious ties. I don't know how it's supposed to be according to the Bible, right? Which I always remind everybody, you talk about the founding fathers being religious. George Washington was a freaking deist. Like he wouldn't come down and say, hi, I need to talk to you about your So Gail, that was very succinct succinct and clear when you said (laughs) being a member is not a secret. What they do is secret. That's very clear. Their rituals are secret. Thank you. And 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 then as I, a, a side piece of trivia that I hinted to in the title of the round, it's the origin of the phrase are you on the level? Like we, you would ask right. when you're discussing oh. something, you would ask if you're, they were on the same level as you, so you were free to discuss what you were discussing. I vaguely remember that in in the carny business, it's called "Are you with it?" Yeah, like if you go to a the circus carnival or something like that, they have marks. Uh, which were according marks. to some people, the Masons are uh, descendants of the Knights Templar. Yeah. That's really conspiracy. And they so, control the Illuminati. And they were originally <laughs> actual Masons, right? I mean, that's a... Yeah, they, the origin is an actual Masonry, yeah. But the all their treasures are in Oak Island. Well, what the hell is an odd fellow? But a George Washington was a group. Mason. It's a different group. So I want you guys to know, since we're recording this, that someday, some people somewhere will be saying, were, you, were they part of... who? Who is in GSOW? it'll be like this there'll be a wikipedia page possibly with some mm-hmm. names in it. Mm-hmm. i'm just saying were they gsow or i not? guess because... the gorillas in the san diego zoo or whatever's closest to you susan no no they're going to be saying and, who well, was the part question, of the gsow susan, hmm? the question is how many gsow editors are free basins yeah we can't talk about that and how many will <laughs> be president <laughs> well that well that's easier well, we got a little time on that Awful lot of women in our group. I, I, I had considered putting up a background picture of uh, Orson Welles selling Palmas on wine, but I figured that would too much of a leap in logic for anyone to figure it out. The okay. Jason Masson. Do you remember Orson Welles selling Palmas on wine? In the, uh, yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but what does it have to do with before it's time? Yep. Yep. All right, so let's like do our scores. Three quarters of Hebrew. 24 points to 34 points is a 10-point difference. Those first two rounds were killers you guys gotta watch the video if you haven't already toilet mm-hmm. paper and um second <coughs> second of things yeah that first round two. was a wipeout round oh all right so changes in latitude changes in attitude aurora boreal aurora aurora borealis topped the charts and i gave you windy so i th- think we got three Five. Five? We got five. Okay. Uh. Jackson, the Roosevelt's Buchanan in Washington. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Five. All right. Next up, we have, according to the Dow, yes, we are better off than we were four years ago. Nine. Mm. And we wow. have a split. Okay. Biden new winner. debate venue. Hope you catch up. Charging into fourth with a three. Ooh, Dang. Geez. Wow. 
Okay, both the sun and Trump surrogates won't stop spewing. Six. Okay, and on our team, we just had Bill decide who looked best in a fez. <laughs> Bring on the rumble. The rambling red-headed orange face responds to Biden's challenge, and he will never be a Freemason, Trump. Didn't we have 10? You have 10. Hi. Damn. Damn. Wow. Damn. We got that sure. place. Damn. Damn. Oh. Six on that one. Six point last, six on the on the social trivia scale. I'm telling you. So we last yeah. place again. Woohoo! <laughs> I love That's it. it. You're the lead, the golf leader. The leader in golf <laughs> or darts. <laughs> I, I learned that darts. last week. Yes. Darts. You want the lowest score possible. Yeah. yeah, that's true. You do. All right. So very good. Mm -hmm. We finish way early. Um, golf. And uh, Rob, will you show? Can you show us how to do, or show me how to do that after we stop the recording? That, or is it easy or no? Yeah. Okay. I want to know how to do it. Uh, All right. Good night. I, know, I will not see you guys the next too. week. Tonight. But please show up because we really want to make sure we have good attendance. I will be counting your little noses on the video. I sure. might be able to be in place. I don't know because I'm flying and I'm going doing different time zone thingies. And but I don't will be it, thinking about you for sure. Don't let your arms tire out, okay? Yes, sir. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna end the recording. And if you'll do that, I would really appreciate that, Rob. I want to see it. Hi, YouTube world. You're Bye. talking about Bye. 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 Bye, everybody. Good night. Susan is